This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Something's wrong, it's not right, bubble guts tonight, and this doesn't feel tight. Kareem's a mess, this is dire, Kareem's ass is on fire, it's coming down to the wire. He's got his brown eye open, clenching his butt cheeks tight. Exit shite, enter opening night. Take my hand, we're off to try and not shit our pants. Throw gang. We are joined by the Duke of the Diner, <laughs> Bobby Backrubs, the Mulberry Street Madman. You're out of order. He's starring in Out of Order. This whole bathroom's out of order. The fits are conspicuous. The drip is ridiculous. And the vibe is meticulous. Woo! The viral Vikings sold to the stage. The Tribeca Film Festival Pharaoh. He be glizzy dipping, suit dripping, pants shitting, joke spitting with more paper than Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> Skin brown, but the carpet's red. A comedian, producer, and star of the film Out of Order, Kareem Rama. Kareem, how you doing? Oh, my fucking God. God I just damn, had two son. orgasms in a row because that <laughs> shit was fucking fire, bro. Let mm. me just say that is by far, without a doubt, your best intro oh, of thank all time. You. I was 100% really worried about what you're going to say. And you <laughs> fucking nailed it, bro. You're hired for whatever job you want. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Copywriter, Kareem Rama yeah. Industries. Lars is, Lars is definitely going to sue me. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, guess even, is number. I didn't even know that you were doing Enter Ass Man until like the <laughs> ending kicked in. I had no idea. Um, which oh, is how you know shit. it's good. Kareem, exactly. what the fuck is good, bro? What's goody, bros? Welcome to the show. Hi, what's good, bros? Yeah. yeah. 750 milliliters. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of the drink check. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, pump the brakes. I'm just jealous. Drink I'm like way too jacked up now. We yeah. need to like take bring it, it, bring it in. Bring that, it in. that song was very fucking good. That was. And I kind of want to use it at some point. Put it on your album. Can I use it? Yeah. Oh, great. Sure. Intellectual property. Baby. <laughs> yeah. That's, Let me get a writer's credit. Of yeah. course. You I have would, a lot of familiarity never, with that subject. Yeah. I would never take anyone. Don't make that. me actually fucking start a beef with you and start protesting. <laughs> get my lawyer on the horn, bro. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just kidding. I'm, my I'm, beefs are fake? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, call him impossible meat the way his beefs are fake. Bro, this USDA <laughs> fucking approved, bro. I don't give a fuck. Wagyu. Kobe. Oh, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Wagyu. Wagyu. There you go. Wagyu. Um, what do you I, call me? I called you a Wagyu, bro. <laughs> Wait, what is the right one? Now I'm confused. Wa- it's Wagyu. No, it's Wagyu. Wagyu. I okay. thought it was Wagyu. That's what I that's like what I said ragu. on the podcast and I got yeah, planned. It's a ragu. <laughs> Chef Boy R Wagyu. That would be disgusting. Um, Chef Boy R Wagyu. Well, it's fusion cuisine. It's Italian meets the Far East. Everything you know? now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fusion. Kareem. We're so happy you're here. You're here. Fuck. See, I can't even do my damn job. The first thing we want to do <laughs> is a little fit check. You're going to walk the audience at home through the fit that you're wearing today. The choice for you, sir, is do you want to start top down or bottom up? You already know bottom up. Baby. Boom. Hell yeah. You already know. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget the kicks that were left outside. Yeah. Because this is a Far East household, as Lawrence <laughs> puts it. <laughs> yeah, true. Look, I am 100% in agreement with yeah. anyone that takes their shoes off at the door. Absolutely. Do not wear shoes in my house. I was thinking about getting a sign. Really? Yeah, but it's like I was thinking about getting like one from Burlington Coat Factory. Sure. That's like a little bit like Live, Laugh, Love. So yeah, people sure. aren't afraid. Right. Because if I hand write. No it, shoes, like, no so. stress, no mess. No. Do you wear outside clothes in the bed? I will. I'm happy to lay on top of my bed with okay. clothes. Yeah. Okay. I'm not that far. How about you? Uh, No, I try not to. I what mean, is, I have house shorts. Extremely. What if things were getting hot and heavy on date night and you were you had and it was a thing where you were putting your dick through well, your jeans? Would you make an exception? Yeah, sure. Okay. If I'm trying to get <laughs> if I'm trying to get the labia blue with the selvage. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay. Uh, shoes. Right. What are we talking about? Sneakers. Your sneakers. sneakers. Meticulous. Uh, I, I rock the uh, Nike Air Tech Challenge 2. The Agassi mm. joints. Yes. Clay. I get them pretty much every single year. I oh, get nice. a fresh pair. Mm-hmm. I put them on once and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Never take You're them You're a off. loyalist to, to the joint. It's just the shoe that works for me. I have big fucking feet. 13. Size Shout 13. out. Congratulations on the Schmeet. Big shoes. Average dick. Okay. Yeah. You know how we do. Just like uh, the, just, the mini just like, bulge. Uh, yeah, just the, like the Andre. Mini bulge, the mini bulge was shown in the pick. Shout out all uh, professional athletes who smoke meth. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> I mean, how many are there? Andre Agassi. Lamar Odom's crack. Lamar Odom's crack. Lance. He probably smoked meth, though. I mean, why not? Lance yeah. is kind of on that on that crack. Lance Armstrong? He's on that T. Yeah. Oh, is that tea? <laughs> yeah, sure. He's, on that he's putting tea, the tea in meth. Yeah. Okay. He's on Respect. that meth tea. All the figure skaters. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Chris, I think I'm, I'm pro doping in sports. Oh, absolutely. It makes the the product better. Like Gladiator, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Adderall, Viagra, et cetera, et cetera. Like I'm pro doping in life. Wait, well. you're saying that professional athletes should be playing while on Viagra? No, we should be playing while on Viagra. Oh. 
Oh, we need performance enhancing drugs to podcast. To just live. Oh, sure. To yeah. fuck, to concentrate, mm. Viagra, Adderall, tea. I take a little dose of tea every day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's the side effects? You're pretty hairy, I'm dude. I'm fucking buff, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking, okay, this, besides the obvious. And I sound like, as yeah. someone said on my comments once, it sounds like I have 14 hot dogs in my throat. <laughs> and you got little ass nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my nuts, dog. Put them on the table. Av- I got average Damn. nuts. <laughs> I got small dick, average nuts. Yo, that's there are worse combos to have. I've actually thought that having a big dick would be we call extremely it a extremely annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding. You think well, I'm it requires a lot of blood usage. Yeah. It also is just like you're playing basketball, dicks flopping around. I don't even have to worry about that ever. Right. You know sure. That's I mean? why you're but so good at hooping. The thing I have to worry about. You is, hoop on Viagra. We established yeah, this, right? I mean, I, t- I, had, I, I should have taken it for that pick that we took. Mm, just a bolts. hard ass dick in the yeah. silk, in the silk <laughs> so, jammies. So I don't have the. Oh wait, bolts. no spoiler alerts. <laughs> so Working our way up to the socks. Oh, okay. Uh, I Sorry. got the Nike Dry Fits. Nice. Drifties. The Drifties. Drifties a little bit compressed. I don't know if that's actually true or not. And I, I mentioned to you guys I was a suit boy summer. Mm-hmm. Yes. I had a little bit of an accident in realizing that when it's 90 degrees, bro, can't rock the suit. No. But what I realized is that pajamas are just a suit for nighttime. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on. So, bed, I bought, bed formal wear. Yeah. so I bought some fucking pajamas <laughs> and now it's it's still suit boy summer. So I got the all 100 percent. So you be PJ it up. All, yeah. Like jammed until, up. Until I might labor, wear them. I might wear day? them to Tribeca. Damn. All right. I think it's tight. Well, it these feels are like, good. well, no spoilers, but these are like fancier than just some like, you know, Christmas tartan bullshit your mom gets you from LOB. Oh, You're going to get one of those pointy hats and go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that reference? <laughs> well, there's two types of snores, right? There's <laughs> or <laughs> me, 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 me. Those are the two the, genders. Those are the two point, genders. You need the pointy hat with extra starch. <laughs> what the fuck is the pointy hat for? I'm not Bro, from you this world. This, what is the sleepy time bear? Oh, the t- like the little elf hat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sleepy time bear. That's Scrooge with duck wears. Hell yeah. I feel like I look like that MF. That little sleepy time bear. Too cute, dude. That's me. Yeah. Except I don't have no little cubs running around or a wife bothering me. Does that dude have a family? Yeah, look at the yeah, box dude. closely. Oh, got, that's why he's so exhausted. Why do you think he's he knocked out on tea? Well, he's then the, the thing is, I'm not trying to be sexist here, but the mom bear is taking, a bitch. She's putting the kids <laughs> off to sleep and he's relaxing in the chair. Respect, well, he was at the bear factory tea. all day. Uh-huh. He was at the honey factory. He was at the build a bear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Building putting, his, putting in a full day, supporting yeah. his cubs. Yeah. <laughs> he's pro union. Um so I got, yeah, all silk pajamas, which I actually discovered this in Italy when I was there last year. Shout nice. out to Italy at this place called Shostal. And this woman, Shirley, she sold me some pajamas. A woman Shirley? named Shirley in Italy, bro? Are sure you were on Little Italy? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, dude. Were you in Stat in Italy? Shirley. I really never thought about it. She was so Italian. But she's like, yo, what up? My name's Shirley. Yes. Well, Shirley Brain, I believe. Brain. Shirley Brain? <laughs> oh, wow. Shirley Brain gives that good brain. Um, and she's the one that put me on to pajamas during the day. And then I had the recollection. She put you on. You've never seen like, because Gosling did at Con. He did it a while back. It's like a, it's a move. I don't You're know if a- you guys know. I'm not actually cool at all. Like, I would never. I, would we, that. I don't think we, we need Okay. <laughs> you guys didn't know that, yeah. which is why it took so long to get invited onto the podcast. Yeah. Uh, Despite <laughs> buying every pair of ALD 550s known to me. It was a fucking bit, bro. It was a fucking <laughs> sure, bit. It was an expensive bit. Yeah. It was actually an, an accident. Yes. Well, we'll get to it. Uh, and then I got a Minnesota Twins hat. Are you from the Twin Cities? I'm from Minnesota. Wait, sorry. Okay. What's the brand of the of the pajamas? Oh, oh it's called that? Lago. L-A-H-G-O. Okay. Can I you don't buy know. the Lago? Instagram timeline. Oh, God. I did see them there, but I went to the <laughs> WWW myself. Okay. And I looked and I perused. But I'm the sure. brand awareness marketing did work. They only have 7,000 followers on Instagram. Is this so. the brand that you're rocking with all summer? Do you have multiple PJ sets or just one? Yo, if you go on Google and just type in like <laughs> men's set, there are two options. White party mm-hmm. in the Bronx or <laughs> yeah. Fire Island party. Oh, got you. And oh, that's those it. are the two genders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we hitting both. This <laughs> yeah, bro. And so it took a lot of time to find like a good high quality set. Like I almost ordered some shit from Sheen, which I've never no, done before. Don't do that. But I was like, OK, I ordered I did order some mm-hmm. shit from Zara, which I never do. Also, I returned all of it. And then I found these. and I was like, OK, this is good. I got them in two colorways. I got the shorts version. Right, right. And the long sleeve version. What about any romp hymns? You do any just like onesie situations? I'm not a romp. When the him. next paycheck hits, I want you to go check out this little brand called Derek Rose. Great. Like Derek Rose? Derek like Rose. the basketball player? Yeah. Like the youngest MVP in NBA history? Yeah, exactly. Um, he Pooh has, Bear has he a has, fucking line he has a pajama. He has a pajama brand. Are Monologue. they? Are they uh, are this they, can't be. It's not the real Derek Rose. He's a different guy. 
This is like Shirley Brain. It's a different character. <laughs> Shirley Derek Brain. Rose, bro. Um, all over Mr. Porter. Hold on. $300 sets. Yeah, but I'm saying it's not Derek Rose's obviously, brand of basketball. Player. Obviously, it's not like Starberries. It's not like Muggsy Bogues' jeans. Muggsy, Muggsy jeans. jeans. Yeah, no. Fuck totally obviously. different. Thing. Come on. I thought you Muggsy knew this shit. I thought you were a man of class. Yeah, they're, they're, they're jeans just for extremely short guys. For yeah. Short With fat yeah. asses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Extra stretch. That's Big my favorite dumpers. genre of man. Oh, yeah? Just a fat fucking ass. A fat, <laughs> short, a fat short king. It looks so good. A short king with the dumper. Just it's, it just, yeah. It a looks short king with a 2010 range on the back. Oh, yeah. That fucking Range Rover Wide Sport. Mm. That mm. big body. Mm. Yeah. God, I would, I would <laughs> fuck grill. it. I would fuck <laughs> it. That, that wagon getting 10 miles <laughs> per gallon. Jesus On Christ. the highway, baby. All right, so Minnesota Twins Capioli. Yeah, from uh, Mr. Throwback, little shop. Uh-huh, East right. Village Boys. Mm-hmm. Uh very nice guy. Yeah. And then uh, I got chains, that. Chains, chains and watch. Chains meticulous. Uh, I got this gold chain for my mother. Okay. This other gold chain for my GIF. Okay. Uh, so the women in your life are keeping you dripped. Which do you prefer? Dripped out. Yeah. Who did better? Between your girlfriend and your mother, which do you prefer? I like them equally. <laughs> <laughs> I like them That's both. That's weird. I like them yeah. Both. Which one am I supposed to pick? Mom or? Oh, I was talking sexually. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Definitely. Gotcha. <laughs> I definitely have to think about that. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll that's a that. that's a fucking brain twister, dude. Yeah. What about, the, what about the earrings? You got two in one Let lobe. Me you turn? Two in one lobe. Cute. I got this on my, when I uh, had a midlife crisis. Oh, which was, was when? 33. So you're going to live to 66? Is that? Oh, aim f- higher, bro. <laughs> Damn. How are you guys so fast? At, like math. 800 on the SAT. He's Asian, do, uh, bro. What do you think? Oh, Far East, according to this fucking... <laughs> Wait, is that? Can you not say the Far East? You can. <laughs> you can. I didn't say. You it's, fucking Jew. It's, <laughs> it's not like I said. Oh, my Oriental friend over here. There it is. I know there where the is. line is. There it is. Uh, Eleven minutes in, and we got a big O. <laughs> the big O. I'm well, technically we, Oriental too. That's true. I'm from the Orient. Yeah. Well, I came here on the Orient Express. <laughs> yeah, fucking, what's did, his name? Dude. Shout out Saeed. What's his name? Spices. Mo. What? Mo Salah. No. <laughs> You do look like like the gigantic Mo Salah. Wait, I'm glad you fucking said it because people are always like, "Yo, you look like Mo Salah," and I'm like, "Yeah, fat, out of shape, yeah, Mo Salah." He's like, like a he's the beautiful, perfect version of your broke ass. The word "gigantic" to describe a person is actually no, up, no, bro. you're pretty tall. No, I mean he's short. They just call me fucking gigantic. Well, he's on the pod. he's Egyptian. He is just like me. He's yeah. the Egyptian messy. So he meaning like he's like a short, little, compact. Like, you know, with a fat ass. ass. He's a little speedball. He doesn't have a fat ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. But you're like six, two. I appreciate it, but I'm five, (laughs) twelve. On a good day. Yeah. So five, fourteen with the afro. So what are the very orientalist earrings? Uh, I don't remember where I got these. You said midlife crisis. Midlife crisis. I got the earrings. Okay. Chinatown. Okay. I wanted to watch. Real gold. Yes. Okay. Yep. Real gold. Sure it's not chocolate. Is it gelt? I'm 34. 35 now so are we I, yeah so real gold earrings i mean come on i can it can afford 70 dollars <laughs> right mean, yeah. you know what's claire's the, had a blowout set <laughs> there, you know? blew a bag of claire's what's yeah. the watch oh here we go it's that Let's... it boy yeah <laughs> according to bryn bryn walner yeah i just read an article about it i got the it boy watch uh what cartier, i believe cartier <laughs> as an it middle-aged man <laughs> you got the it boy wallet <laughs> fuck or me. the it boy watch i'm an e-boy me. uh it's the cartier <laughs> Paulo Santos. Okay. <laughs> Special what? edition. Yeah. It's a fucking scent? It's the uh, Paulo Santos. Wood- yeah, it's the Paulo Santos. Santos. Uh, is, it the, is it quartz or what's, let me see the face here. I don't know, man. You probably know more than I do. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, I got, no one cares I got grammed again. Wants. You know, like I look on Instagram, see the fucking pajamas, cop, see the watch, cop. Oh, really? Oh, shit. You copped the watch off the TM? No, I copped it from, from Dime Piece, but I saw uh, from Brent. Got it. I saw that there was a uh, Lou Reed was wearing it and Jerry Seinfeld was Say wearing less. it. And I was like, 1738. <laughs> <laughs> Is what? that Jerry Seinfeld? Well, he when he was 38, which you will be soon, he dated a 17 year old. Oh, yeah. that's a good joke. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he original? did not come up with it. To Fetty, be clear. Fetty Fap. <laughs> yeah. Fetty Fap. Is mm-hmm. that what it's about, the song? A hundred percent, of course. It's a call. Wait. It's a call to arms for anyone who uh, finds himself in an age gap relationship. It's Good about God. Jerry Seinfeld dating a high schooler from the Upper West Side, and also about a very expensive cognac. All right, word, word, word. I should make one. Oh, it's a, it's a Louis. Yeah, seventeen thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah. 
trying to think if there's any other historical references I can pull out of my ass. 1776. No. Yeah. <laughs> and what are the panties? Mm-hmm. Uh, if any. Oh, these are parade. I'm a micro influencer. Really? No. Oh, that that is the parade coming out with men's underwear, though? Yeah. That's why I thought you were serious. Well, I'm pretty sure we're all about to be dripped out in fucking parade thongs. Oh, Cammy, get at yeah, me. Yeah, Cammy. We're, right we're perfect micro influencers for that. Well, maybe micro. you guys are real. Speak, you guys speak are real. about yourself. I'm a all. micro penis influencer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I got the fruits of the loom. <laughs> Classic All men OG with brand. MPs follow this man to the fucking ends of the earth. Yeah. I'm serious. I'm starting a movement. You ever seen a micro penis in real life? Of course. I look down on one every day. <laughs> Damn. Wait, do you really have a micro penis? No, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's regular Egyptian size. I'll tell you the story about Well, regular Egyptian size, which is small. Sounds, oh, it's, it's, it's not as big that sounds ass. pretty solid. Really? It's just regular. It's, it's, everything about me is regular size. I'm waiting for Lawrence to make an Africa joke right now, but you know, Go for it's it. coming. No, it's of course coming. not. What kind of Africa? Well, I guess if, if, uh, I don't know if we were actually to look at the math, but that's a that's a tough like uh, you're bringing down the average of the continent is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm North African American. There mm. you go. Yeah. Which is not a thing. Yeah, nah. it is now. <laughs> but that be the title of the episode: North African American. They should put no. me on like a, they should put me on a black show, like yeah. like, uh, like like Flavor of Love. <laughs> no, like more like Issa Rae, like an Issa Rae thing. Okay, but like so, I'll be cast as a North African American. Right, I'm blackish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be a perfect fit. Yeah. Are there white? Are there like are there South Africans who are white that are just like I'm fucking African? Like I'm I'm fucking African bitch. Like don't talk yeah, to me like Leonardo that. Don't say that. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio in that one yeah, exactly. movie. Yeah, true. That's true. a good accent. It's I can't. It's I can't aged even, so well. I can't even try. Um, blood, his blood diamond accent. Blood diamond. If anything you say <laughs> is equivalent to what he uses in the movie, South African, <laughs> South African. Yeah, something like that. Um, and you are sipping on. Yeah, the big boy. Topo Chico XL. That's the only thing XL the about extendo. me. Extendo. Yeah, I didn't know this That's was a from big Mexico. body Topo Chico. I didn't know yeah. this was from Mexico. Really. Yeah, bro. Is, it got bought by but Coke. no, but like, is it actually? Yes. What do you, Wait, yes. why would I get water from Mexico? That's such a bad idea. Yeah. Well, it's it's distilled and Kareem's purified. revenge, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm literally reading this right now. You didn't know Topo Chico's from Mexico? That's why it's big in Texas, big in California, yeah, but, and slowly making its way north. It was bought by Coca Cola. But they sterilize this shit with Bluetooth, dude. So like, yeah, they don't be good on the fucking bubble guts. They don't uh, bottle out the tap like Dasani. Yeah, the slogan is "Bubbles in your bottles, not in your guts." Everyone knows that, that. Is, says it right here on the bottle. Yeah, it was it's, uh, founded in 1738, I believe. Let's talk 1895. about 1895. <laughs> that's oh, a okay. fucked All up right. ratio. Let's talk about bubble cut. Bubble guts. <laughs> 1895. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's a good one. That's, that's Anna Nicole Smith numbers, bro. Yeah. That's a lot of people <laughs> that I see. <laughs> Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the podcast, if we may. Are you done? You done? Oh, yeah. It's your, you yo, I'm good now. Right. Chill. Kareem, you're starring in a movie. That is debuting this weekend at the Tribeca Film Festival. Congratulations, Kareem. Thank what is so it much. called and what is it about? The film is called Out of Order. Uh, it was written by myself and it was directed by Nicholas Heller, a.k.a. New York Nico. Yes. Friend of the show. Came from a little bit of a phone call that we had uh, where he was like, I really want to write a movie. I think you're funny. I was like, oh, that's so kind of you because <laughs> you're one New of the York only Nico. people. Yeah. <laughs> you're one of Nobody the only says that. <laughs> Many people do not understand my humor, but apparently Nico does. And he was like, it's based on a true story where uh where he was like i had to go to a date i don't know if i can tell the story online but i'm going to he <laughs> he had to well, make it to a date but he ended up in jail what i did not know this story was this a 1738 uh, situation nick i'm very <laughs> i'm very sorry if i'm blowing up your spot and you're saving that story for another day but <laughs> wait who knows what's real and what's fake he ended up in jail for shitting no 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 okay. there's no poop involved in this okay. at all and he was like oh. well i want to use that life experience to write a movie about a guy that has to get to a big date and really needs to take a shit yeah and it's out. a metaphor it's a, it's like yeah. it's, it's like it's, it's like he's using his art his using his real life as art it's like yeah. good time but for pooping your pants mm-hmm. it's exactly a hundred percent and the character you play is named ernie okay he is like i said trying to make it to a big date first date since his divorce oh and then it's like, you know, he's feeling himself. Uncle Wayne, Wayne Diamond. Got that's him. my uncle in the film. Cool. Uh, he is, he's got me a new outfit, but I'm like, I don't need it. I'm good. And then what's as, the fit that Wayne Diamond is trying to push on? You? Yeah, you'll see it in the film. OK, but let's just say it's spicy. In his words, he was sucking and fucking all over oh. studio in oh. these joints. All right. Studio 54. Yeah. Got it. And that's an improv line from Wayne Diamond. I oh, thought yeah. it was a fucking I mean, improv. Tremendous. He's just literally talking like he would normally <laughs> He's like, have yeah, a conversation. Yeah, take these. I was sucking and fucking back in studio. <laughs> yeah. I was like hitting that hairy pussy. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was really good. He didn't learn any of his lines. No one did. Of course. It was not. very fun. Yeah. Uh, and, did you shoot, and, how many days did you shoot across? Like yeah. two? Four. Oh, okay. shit. Four big days. Damn. Uh, like three scenes a day last summer. And so this is crazy because sincere moment. We talked about this film in April of last year. 
And we were like, let's do Tribeca next year. That's the big fucking goal. Mm. That's the goal, the so finish line. Yeah, we wrote Call Bobby. Bang, 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 bang. Went through like 30 drafts and then cast out of the Nico universe, uh, cinematic universe. Right. right. And I just like the MCU. Like, yeah, the MCU. Just like <laughs> going through his page, being like, okay, this big time Tommy in the movie. Take like, it yeah, east. <laughs> he's so tight. Keep it old school. He might be my, my favorite, obviously, besides you. The he's giant, so tight. Gigantic- Egyptian. Couple. Oh, and Kuji wasn't, wasn't in the universe yet. Yeah, Kuji hadn't been discovered yet. Yeah, he would have been a fucking. He was still flipping pivotal. burgers in New Paltz. Yeah. He would have been like floating. Slicing Gawagoo. I would. I think I would have put him in in Washington Square Park, like floating. You know, like one of those guys, like a like a little guru. Oh, right. Like, and the, I would be like, Kuji, what do I do? What do I do? And he'd be like, eh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, sure, like sure. you know, whatever he does. Uh, gesticulating guru. He's so tight. Yeah, brush your hair. That's for the sequel. Save it for the sequel. Don't yeah. get no free yeah, shit. Yeah. No free IP. So, into, yeah, yeah. Keep going. That's what happens. That's what happens in the movie. And then there's yeah. a big, there's a big thing that happens. Let's just say, like, imagine someone taking a shit uh, on the Statue of Liberty or something. <laughs> That's kind of the equivalent of Damn, that. Did you blow the whole budget on just CGI? Just a yeah. giant oh, shit happening on the boys, Statue of Liberty. I did this shit method. Right. Ooh. Like well, I, yeah. it was naked. Let me ask you. So Poop to get into character, did you like eat a lot of street meat and like walk around the city having a shit? In preparation for this film were you, we, were you going method we decided to go method and <laughs> nick was very supportive of it i've okay. had directors that are not supportive sure. of that. i was crushing fiber bars every morning <laughs> and i was not shitting and you could see it on my face in the movie <laughs> right i, I legitimately like your to, eyes are just you're not even acting no i had white your eyes just filling up with poop yeah literally poop all the way mm. up and mm. I, I it was it was pretty much every day filled I had to, to the brim with just straight piss. shit it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. And then I was gonna, I was going to take like lasso, laxatives. Okay, but he was oh, like, no. "Don't do that." Yeah, that. <laughs> he was that like, "Seems like ill advised for sure." When was the yeah. last time you, in real life you actually did shit your pants? I don't remember, but I did piss a little bit in my bed like a week ago. What happened? I was having this dream, and I just woke up, and there was a little piss in my bed. Okay. And what was happening in the dream? Do I don't remember? remember. I was really embarrassed. But you know what I did? What, what did you do? You do? Just, just flip, kept flip sleeping. The no, yeah. didn't do anything. I mean, I, how I, little, I just moved over. Is it a really? Bit. Was it really a dribble or was it like a spot? What are we talking? It was there? a good amount of piss, <laughs> like okay. half a bladder's worth. Damn. What? I know. Half a I, tank? Have, I have that hasn't happened in at least one year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but I don't know what it was. You know what it is? I, you're I you're in the second half of your life. Your, your lifespan. Yeah. You're getting old. I'm you're dying. Old, I'm an old Jewish man. <laughs> yeah. You need to do cock kegels or whatever. Like you need to learn how. You need to work your pelvic floor. Do you guys do that? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm doing them right now. Yeah. Let me see. Why do you think I don't bust? <laughs> oh, let me see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lawrence, you poop. Wait, so you've never shit your pants? No, I definitely have. I just don't remember when. Like as an adult, you've never shit your pants. Yeah. No. I you, know exactly this, like, the it, last like, time up. I did. What happened? Just sharded on my couch. This is <laughs> <laughs> many, not many years. Wait, so I, you're in your home and there's a bathroom right there? But I, yeah, but I caught it enough where there Wait, was. Wait, you caught it with your hand? No, no, no. Well. <laughs> Caught it and like I I realized what was happening. Immediately stopped, got off the couch, which was a white couch, by the way. Oh, and oh. luckily, no, luckily, no collateral damage. But uh, definitely gross to be like I just sharded in my apartment as a grown man, and I'm throwing away my underwear. <laughs> the most dangerous game on a white couch. <laughs> yeah. Truly, the most dangerous yeah. game. I don't think I and I never told my wife. Obviously, you had home field oh, advantage. She probably knows now. I think it was before we got married. <laughs> Could change the trajectory yeah. of my entire life. Anyway. Oh, that's the, what, about what about me. you, James? You keep you keep, you keep grilling. Yeah, very hard about your this. pants. Um, I did a a torta tour, torta and taco tour of um Sunset Park when <laughs> this is a long time ago because I was living in Fort Greene and I made it to this is Barclays was like being built and so there was kind of like a dead area, um and I was walking up the street. I don't know the exact street, but it was like parallel to Atlantic. I had to like cross Atlantic to get to uh, my place in Fort Greene. And I had to go between two cars. Mm. In your I'm pants, like, though. No, no, no. Like I like <laughs> you chose to. I do chose that. to take my pants <laughs> well, off. No, I think that's the better move. Like when you were <laughs> there, I Did had like see you? one car, one hand on like the trunk of this car, and one hand on the hood of this car, and just like trying to spread my. You're doing a Spider Man situation. Yeah. And did you go no wipe then? No, I, then I took my boxes off and like used those to wipe and then oh, just like left them in the so street. fucking gross. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I don't like Torta you, and the scare. Dude. Why is human poop so gross compared to like other poop? Uh, cause we like eat like fucking terrible compared to like, like, like dog poop. Dog like poop. you can yeah, see if you it eat, on the if you you dog poop, play that game. If you ate dog poop, I'm sure you look like that. <laughs> what the fuck? If you ate dog poop, your shit would look like a dog's poop. Sorry. If you ate dog food, <laughs> I don't think it's your dog food. 
No, if you ate dog poop. My point. Your is not, poop would look my, like dog poop. My yeah. point is not Come the on, look. It's science. Is it the look? No, I'm just saying. Like when you see dog poop on the floor, you're like, oh, it's it's fine. But when you see human poop, mm. it's very gross. Oh, no, right? it's everywhere. Maybe what? he's born with it. Maybe it's dog poop. Oh my say. god! What do your parents think of the fact that you're starring in a movie uh, where you're just trying not to shit your pants? Uh, they don't know. My mom's coming out for a trip. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't know what she's about to witness. She has no idea. Has really? she been grilling you, or is she like uh, whatever? She's my mom is like a like moved here in 1986 from Egypt and wears a hijab, and she's like, "Oh, you made a movie! It's, I'm, so, I'm so excited!" I'm like, "Oh, oh fuck can I mom. sit next to her at the at the fucking screening? <laughs> yeah, hold her hand. <laughs> she's not. <laughs> she's not prepared. No, she's, she's not be looking prepared. for a new. She's she, be looking for a new son. No, Does she think you're she funny? Has a, she has one. It's, it's another bad one. She thinks I'm just famous. She doesn't really know anything. She's like, so oh, she's the <laughs> same as every other mom. Then. <laughs> are you the Are you the bad son of the two? No, I'm the good son. Okay, yeah. Are you going to be the good son after this movie? I'll still be the good son. My, the bad son, shout out Mo, my brother. Mo Salah. Mo, <laughs> Mo Rama. He's also <laughs> Mo Rama. Mo Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother is, is now good, but uh, he, was a bad he gave a very, very hard time to my mom. Yeah. I was always like a little mama's boy, little mama's oh, bitch. Are you, <laughs> you're, the younger, you're the younger brother? I'm the older. Oldest. You're the older brother? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's yeah us- it usually doesn't work that way normally right the oldest isn't the oldest normally like you fuck up and then your parents are like well who cares i think the, the oldest one. is a good one usually because they're like Dad that's not the case them. with maybe that's, an egyptian household too. that's yeah, not like the case it, with us though yeah what Papa we're, didn't we're both you guys enough? we're both older but we're the bad boys really i don't know yeah. my brother had a, his wayward period but how bad too. are your brothers because mine mm. was bad bad like did he did he kill a man? <laughs> did he go to just jail? to watch him die look, look at my face it's possible okay, okay. got it i don't know Right. He hasn't been charged for anything. Right, right, right. I'm also not trying to blow his up. But in my mind, it's like it's in the realm of possibility. Gotcha. How do you think your mom's going to react to sitting? This is some like Bam and April Margera type shit. Like she's going to sit down and then you're just going to be like clenching your cheeks for 20 minutes because it's a short, right? Mm-hmm. How do you think she's going to react to this? I think she'll laugh. She, her, she loves the movie Step Brothers. Oh, 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 she, oh yeah. speaking of dog, eat dog poop. <laughs> so God damn. Yeah. She, I think she's going to feel it. She's going to like it. She's, she's a fun, nice lady. Nice. All right. Good for her. Um, you, you kind of uh, <laughs> I like that. I like ending on that note. Yeah, you kind whatever. of you kind of alluded to this, but what's the red carpet or what's the fit going to be? Mm. The oh, Tribeca shit. Film Festival yeah, debut shit. of the film. Is there out a of red order. carpet at this outdoor premiere? I know there's a step and repeat. I don't know if there's a red carpet. I think they. Maybe Hopefully, put, they splurge for red carpet. For yeah, step I mean, I would. I'll maybe bring my own. You know, you I'm, really should. I mean, I'm Egyptian. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> flying out of here. I can show you this film. I yeah. can show you this film. So yeah, what's Take the fit going to be? Take you on a dump mission. <laughs> uh, extrapolating lyrics is my thing. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting kicked off again. Oh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm going to wear... the fit going to be? I, I got uh, the nice people at Drake's have... Uh, oh, shout out our friends at Drake's. I met my boy, uh, Brandon, at a Shout party. out Brandon. Yes, That's and our he guy. Was like, well... You can't take our singing intros and I'm you can't not, take our guys. guys so. There's enough room to go around. Also, you're white. He's, I don't know. And I'm, <laughs> uh, he's, <laughs> what is Brandon? No, I'm, I was, I'm fusion. I was talking I'm about fusion. James. Oh, yeah. I like, you're white. I was like, he's, I don't I'm know. Like, okay, so Brandon does have a shape up, but yeah. I think uh-huh. Brad, he told me, I think he's part Japanese and part Caribbean of some sort. Okay. Mm. That's what I wish I was. That's speaking of good ass fusion food. That That's would bang. Yeah, very good. Yeah. That would bang yeah. harder but than he Ragu Wagu. Yo, one of the best restaurants I've ever been to in Kingston in the Caribbean it was in Kingston. Kingston. It was a sushi bar. Yes. It was a sushi bar Vibes. run by a Japanese guy. Oh, but they, they had like Rasta sushi. It was fire. It was called Rasta Pasta. No, oh, but I do fuck country. with I do yeah. fu- No, Rasta Pasta Jamaican. Yeah, is. but yeah. that's but that's fusion. That's Italian. That's Jamaican like they fusion. take Alfredo and Caribbean put in like fusion. jerks, yeah. jerk shrimp. Oh, that's jerk, jerk pasta. It's basically. so good. It's that's so facts. good. I bet Vibes Cartel invented it. <laughs> no, but he's from prison. From prison, sure, he I'm made sure it in a toilet in prison. Seven hundred yeah. albums, yeah. and a cookbook yeah. Yeah. from Vibes Cartel. I'm sure he kills it. Also, by the way, free him. Yeah, free Vibes. Yeah, free I mean, him. I read his Wikipedia page. Yeah, he he killed a lot of people. <laughs> Again, free the Vibes, bro. <laughs> So you don't know what the fit's going to be, or you have no? No, you I, got, I went to Drake's. Drake's. Okay, I went, so what did you get from? Uh, he account? went to Drake's. Yeah, I went to Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was OVO shit and was very <laughs> yeah, disappointed. You were OVO I went to the one on Bowery. Yo, yo where, the, where, where the glove out? Where the owl gloves at? <laughs> where the owl gloves at? <laughs> where the owl, I went yo, to the one where's on Oliver? Wait, wait, there's no football gloves in this whole store. <laughs> I went to the OVO. Speaking store. Of Caribbean, you go in there like yo, where the glove ting? Where the owl ting, <laughs> Oliver? <laughs> Oh shit! I should uh, wear gloves. You guys are giving me some. You good have ideas. to take a shit when the bathroom shut down. 
<laughs> appropriating. <laughs> wipe me, daddy. <laughs> now wipe me down. What's that song again? Wipe me wipe down. Me down. That's by, boozy. by boozy badass. Noted mm-hmm. homophobe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, happy pride from Lil Boosie Look, and may, Kareem. May separate, it's actually full name Boosie Badass. Separate the art from the artist. Oh, bro. for yeah. sure. I mean, we're doing it with you right now, baby. <laughs> you know? Come on now. No, Brandon hooked it up. He was just like, I was like, I don't know. What, what are you doing? We're doing suiting. We're doing a suit. We're, we're doing, doing a, scarfing. A, a corduroy, light corduroy, mm-hmm. like corduroy linen blend, uh, work jacket suit. You thing. know, people, people don't give enough credit to corduroy for being a, a very breathable material. I didn't know anything about I it. I think normally it's not. That's why. No, it depends on the width Honestly, of the whale. Honestly, people give more credit to silk. I was going to tell you, silk is kind of not what you want for this kind of weather. You want like like a linen, breathable, you know. Oh, I beg to differ. I mean, yeah, I yeah, don't sweat that like much. Like to stew in your own juices? Well, if you don't sweat that much, then we could, this conversation is going nowhere. I'm not a sweaty Eddie. Okay. Okay. So corduroy, anyway. linen, work jacket. Yeah, like suit thing, open okay. weave ish. I don't, I don't know, guys. I really don't know what it is. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's just like it looks like a corduroy suit. It's a full suit, except it's casual. It has okay. like more po- a couple more pockets because right. it's a work jacket. Because you're bringing your own snacks. I'm bringing my own snacks movies. to the movie. I'll, this did happen at Nighthawk the other day when I went to Maverick. Mm. Uh, and you brought your own dude, snacks. No, this to the dude next with- to me fucking pulled up in a bodega bag filled with crunchies and shit. And did I was they, like, did he get stopped? At I all? was like, at Nighthawk, that's so fucking tight. Yeah, because like, bro, they give you unlo- they give you unloaded popcorn for like five bucks. He didn't bring popcorn. He brought Mike and Ike's. He brought like okay. I had gave me an Oreo. He brought a whole. <laughs> he bag. gave you an Oreo Lucy. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> and guess what? The whole time I was waiting for his date to arrive, no date. Man's brought a fucking Fire. bag to Maverick and ate all the snacks himself. That's a Sigma male, bro. Did he buy a seat for his bag? The bag seat was empty, so I don't know if okay. he bought the bag seat. So it not. became a date between you two, sharing Oreos, yeah. bro. Was, was it just the two of you in we're the theater? Talk, we're talking a lot. No, the theater was full. The okay. real Maverick and Rooster. People right love here. Com- Come Trues. Yeah. <laughs> Come Trues looks good, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. He makes me so embarrassed. Just for your have life? You, have you seen the film? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We saw it together, actually. It when beautiful. he's fucking on the beach. Oh, because um, he's so, because he's 59 years old and he's. Looking like most, yeah, he's got he's got weird he's got weird old man Jack body. I'm more coming for Miles Teller myself. He's back, Absolutely, baby. Yeah. That stash oh, is fucking fire money. He's good. Yeah, yeah. You and ever that, rock a mustache? I do. I feel like you would look awesome with. Yeah, the mustache. I pivoted. Yeah, very. I, I pivoted from mustache. I did mustache for like five years. Oh, really? It was you were had, the you were that guy. I had a brief pivot. Okay, is that why you got divorced? <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, that's one of the reasons. Okay. <laughs> one of the many reasons. What's the footwear going to be for the for the premiere? I might just rock those fucking air tags. Oh, yeah? no, come on. Bro. Oh, God. Oh, okay. No. Well, those aren't clean. Those are like kind of fucked up. I know, but I'm like taking the piss out of the event. No, right? don't be. Don't be the suit and sneakers guy. Yeah. Then you're on your like Jason Sudeikis uh, bullshit. No, I'm very great. I'm very great. What should I fucking wear? I oh, really no. don't know. About some sandals. What's the color of the suit? It's navy. Okay. Phew. Yeah, how about some fucking mules? Some like open toed, not open toed, sorry, open heeled, like casual boys. Yo, I, I'm dead serious right now. The whole everything's <laughs> moment. Where's some Boston? Where's some Birkenstock Boston? I will take the wreck. Yeah. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. I ran I ran into my friend Chris at Drake's and he was like, that suit's too small. And Brandon's like, that suit's perfect. And Chris was like, that suit's too small. Damn. And it was who, like, who did you trust? Who did you go with? Well, I trusted Brandon. Okay, I mean he's a professional. And then I who the fuck re- is this Chris guy? Talking, well, tell him Brandon how to do. He's job. a note. He's a backseat pers- tailor. He's a person yeah. of note. Chris. Chris Evans. Yeah. Nope. Chris Pine. Caribbean. Let's keep going. Let's Chris go. Pratt. Nope. Chris Pratt uh, is not Caribbean. Caribbean. Chris Rock. Nope. Uh, Chris. Is he Cornell? Wait. Nope. <laughs> oh. Um. Hmm. Chris Black. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Nope. The, again, Caribbean. Not Wait, like- is it one of the Hemsworth? Is it Liam Hemsworth? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Who's a Caribbean Chris? Oh. He, he goes by Hurricane Chris. No, he has a stage name. <laughs> Christopher. That's Wallace. <laughs> uh, wait, so who is he's a stage a, okay. uh, jillionaire. jillionaire? Oh, why didn't you just say that? Yeah, Chris. I didn't want to sound like a guy that's like, oh, Jilly- I well, ran into Jill- so Jill- I, I ran into Jillionaire at drinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you weren't <laughs> shopping with you weren't shopping with Jillionaire. No, he's, you took he, the scenic route to fucking name dropping, we, but we got there. Oh wow! Now I'm having like deja vu because we met in Italy on the street with Shirley, and then with Shirley, Shirley top. I went out there. Shirley, she gave me some brain. <laughs> Shirley brains gave. A, <laughs> me brain i'm not gonna speak i, I have a problem not speak out. Chris. yeah i'm not gonna speak on chris, for chris, chris jillionaire bridges but we got that all, all all figured out and then he actually left a comment on my post yesterday when i was with fabrizio oh of course Dormant he was, the stars he was like get fabrizio's suit 
or get Fabrizio's suit guy. And I was like, what's your suit? It's Versace. I was like, I can't do that. Yeah, probably some vintage <laughs> shit too. Or whatever. Get shit, some Versace you, slippers. He's fucking hot. He, yeah. He's for, he, but he doesn't he's have ha- a dumper. He's what you want to look like when you're 59, yeah. not Tom Cruise. I yeah. agree. But he's very healthy. He doesn't drink or do alcohol or drugs. Really? Yeah. Are you That's good? Are you good in any hood when it comes to the one hood that is uh, fucking Paul's baby grand? Like you can just walk in. I've anytime. never been there. That's where he's the doorman, right? I think so. Yeah. No, I think he's, he's a doorman in a couple places. Oh, are you not? Are you not a club sure. guy? I've never been to any of those places. I know that there's two places called Paul's, right? It's Paul's Casablanca. And Paul's yeah, baby. I haven't been to either. What's a Saturday night for you? <sighs> Little studio. The stew hit the stew. No, Studio Fifty Four. Like, <laughs> Yeah, hitting that hairy pussy. Sorry. I like to work a lot, but no, uh, I I don't know. I fucking hang out in Brooklyn. I hang out in Bedside, have dinner. Yeah, where do you live? Go to Lucienne. What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> I live in Bedstuy. What's the Lucienne order? <laughs> Steak frites. Mm, I mean, medium rare. Yeah, mids and the fucking. Uh, it's all mids. The snails. Escargot. I like call them snails. Mm. Call them what they are, dude. Call the muscles, by- honestly, though, the muscle, like we've talked about Lucy. Call them by your name. Call them by your name. Do I don't have, want to talk about Lucy. I was just joking. Do you have further acting aspirations beyond out of order? Yeah, we've got, um, I've got a show that I'm pitching right now. Oh, Sick. With, so are uh, you a behind the scenes guy or are you in front of the camera guy or you want to be your a, talent. Double, a double threat? I, I have been moving into in front of the camera. Okay. I started most of my career behind the camera, mostly a producer, mostly a writer, mostly like an executive producer, a guy with ideas. <laughs> and now I'm moving into. Now you're out of ideas. I want to be the talent. Now you want to be the pretty face. That's what I realized. That's what I realized. Yeah. Talent, very easy job. Fat Mo Salah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in fucking lights, mama. Yeah. What's the biggest uh, pro or the biggest difference between being talent and being the ideas guy? Talent is fucking. You just show up, mm-hmm. and then they give you Drake. <laughs> they give you fucking Topo Chico. They give you fucking oh, OVO photos on the rooftop. They give you Drake. They give you whatever that means. What they give you Drake. He's giving Drake. I like oh. to remove the ass. Oh, got it. Uh, they give you. They give you things, and you get paid to like be places and like do things. Okay, okay. walk through fees. Yeah, you know appearances. It's, it's, nice. it's like signing titties. I had this moment where I was shaking like, babies. What do I want to do for the rest of my life? Write emails or like show up places and do fun things. So fun when did things. this when did this revelation happen? With out of order? When I was thirty three, when I got my ears pierced. Okay. <laughs> As you were, you were, you were taking some. Uh, it was a mental health day. Yeah, on yeah. the way to divorce court, I was. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was walking down. I just that. shaved my mustache and pierced my ear, getting ready for divorce court. And, and I thought fu- to myself, "This is actually. Pretty I will close never to send accurate. another email." Yeah, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm talent, bitch." <laughs> And so I got the email, the earring on the spot, and I was like, "Boom, done!" Like I've already it's begun a wrap. my I'll journey. I'll never get hired anywhere ever again. Did you get, bo- did you get both earrings simultaneously? <laughs> no, I got one, and then I I got. Like, the, I need uh, another. The Same lobe. Yeah, every year I get a new one. For I her. mean, I got the it, wait. Got, you don't have no. Okay. Yeah. No, no. When we got our ears pierced as thirty-five year olds. I immediately got the itch for more body mod. You guys got them at thirty-five? Yes, yeah. yeah. sir. Ski. Together? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so oh, for so sure. So sexy. And There's like I a know. two and a half minute video on YouTube if you want to watch it. Yeah. Oh, dude. We'll send it to you. Yeah. Coming up on the one year anniversary. Wait, was it was it talent? Was it branded content? No, well, it was for kind Patreon. Of. It was our own branded content. It, it, was, a, it was it was a challenge. A, it was a challenge to our fans, yeah. and they met and exceeded four yeah. x the challenge. And so we went and got it. And first. we set the bar pretty low because, like, well, it was his idea first, and then I, as a poser, was like, "Oh, I want to get my ear pierced I'm too." I'm surprised either of you have diamonds. I had a snake stud that, that, that I switched out rock. for the hoop. Get that fat cubic circle. Yeah, yeah, we need some ZCs. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> hell yeah. Do you think Tribeca Film Festival co-founder Robert De Niro has ever shit his pants? 100%. Without a yeah. doubt. 100%. Right? He probably did it on set Would of, you say? Probably on, on Bad Gram- the set of Bad Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Jack has seven. Or dir- s- dirty Grandpa. Sorry. <laughs> when you think of the world's current living population right now, not in the, his, the, the totality of humankind, but just alive right now, would you say more or less than 50% of the world's population have shit their pants? More 100% as okay. an expert? It's probably closer to 96 <laughs> Wait, as an oh, expert. Oh, because as a no, not as a baby. Sorry, as an adult, you have to be an adult. Of course. Okay. All right. As an expert, you can't even pinpoint the last time you shit your pants. Yeah, some expert. <laughs> I have though. I just don't want to talk about it on the podcast. Right? Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. I pooped on the fucking L train, mate. Oh, what? really? Yes. When? when? Same oh. situation. Recently? No. But a shark. Wait, hold on. Same situation. Not shark gone wrong. Shark gone. Same shark situation, shark. meaning you sharted. I sharted, and a little bit came out. Was okay. Did it like did it like uh, wriggle down your pant leg? No, it was actually hard, so it went out, and then I sucked it back. <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh, you, wow. yo, come, that's okay. not a, no, that's a you, you ghost. That's a ghost. No, shit. you, that's you, prairie dogged. You tapped cotton. That's what you did. Yeah, is that a? Th- I didn't know about the that. ghost of the L train. I didn't know about this. Yeah, it still you, haunts to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> if it was hard, ass. you could have just like you know tried to like just ride out. 
That's what I'm you saying. Know? No, but that, you tapped cotton. It was a little how you doing. That's what you guys call it? Tap tapping cotton? Yeah, when it comes out, it taps Prairie everywhere and goes back in. Yeah. That's so tight. Yeah. And then yeah. it goes back in. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a common phenomenon. Mm, yes. So I'm I mean, not alone. No, there there are others just like you. PD's anonymous. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there's <laughs> there's <laughs> there's there's dozens of them, dude. They're everywhere. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm setting up the first meeting. If Absolutely. anyone wants to get a hold of me, just hit me in the DMs and we'll set up PD. <laughs> just follow the one. trail of dried little turds. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna so have it in a church. At the PD <laughs> meetings, you guys don't serve coffee. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. No, we serve we serve uh tummy tea. <laughs> At laxatives. No, no, no. You don't want to. No, it's the other. Modium uh, AD. No, because in my Imodium, mind, I'm like, yeah, you're, af- you're afraid to poop. When you do a PD, you're afraid to well, poop. Well, you should be I'm afraid to poop when you're on a crowded train. No, you should not poop when you're it on a crowded, crowded train. It wasn't crowded. Okay. <laughs> what stop were you at? I was the only one there. What stop were you at? Bedford L. Oh. Eh, that's acceptable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll poop there. You're in Brooklyn. Kareem, Anything goes. You claim that this summer, summer 22, is the summer of suits, which even though you had a little misstep, what is currently in your suit rotation? I have uh, one suit from Burlington Co. Factory. Okay. <laughs> one suit from Men's Warehouse. <laughs> You're just hitting the Mount Rushmore of alt- uh, uh, men's ateliers. No, okay. You got your eyes on a Joseph A. Banks? I, I, I would. Those I think you get like fire. six for the price of one. Bro. The suits right now look like Joseph A. Banks. I, they really do. Yeah. It's like who would who could tell the difference? Well, a, cer- a certain type of suit. Not yeah. Like, like the big boys, like the, the baggy boys. Yeah. yeah. The chill suit. Yeah. Uh, no. R- honestly, though. Yeah. Demna I, A. Banks. <laughs> I want some Balenciaga. Do you? No. <laughs> I would take sunglasses. Well, yeah. For sure. I mean, come on. Accessories. With the fat shoes. All right. So we got the, the men's warehouse. The Burlington Co. Factory, Factory special, the and, Joseph then, a. Banks. and then I, I honestly did walk into. I have two suit supply suits. Okay, okay. And then I went to suit supply this summer, like three weeks ago. Yeah. And I saw the casual suit that they have. It's all linen. Mm. And I was like, I'll just take three of those. Oh shit! In different colors. A little rotation. Yeah, navy brown and like this. Do we see? Do we see you in the cream in the yeah. brown? You saw in the creamy, brown? No, creamy green. Okay, <laughs> creamy green. <laughs> the fucking, Cream your greens. The fucking uh, spinach, like the whipped spinach Ooh, yeah. sauce, like a luger you know the side sauce that yeah, comes yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That, that's what they're looking like a steakhouse side. But I'm new. I'm new to suits. I I I, I have. But you're going in. I'm going in because I've pivoted from patterns okay. and like the the um like the fun guy Leonardo, shirts. Yeah, and Leonardo DiCaprio at the beach in Romeo and Juliet. Gotcha. Right. That was my phase. Capulet core. Yes. We've moved on. To I've moved on to Soup like Boy Summer. a little more adult. Mm-hmm. N- not as many patterns. I feel like solids yeah. are nice. I like the monochromatic look. Yeah. That's my new show. Which are is you, funny because as a uh, divorce guy, it's usually in the opposite direction, but you're going against the grain. I but we had the that. pandemic working against us. Mm-hmm. And I also feel like once like, you know, those shirts have are a bit played now. Right. Oh, like yeah. I mean, we've had this conversation on the pod a bunch because the kids, the kids, the guys, the kids, whatever, they want to know if campies, camp collars are washed or played because every brunching bozo is now draped up and dripped out. Where do we go from here? Yeah. So it's really just about like getting away from that. Yeah. And looking a little more unique. Also, when I'm fucking on a bicycle or something and I'm wearing a suit just at like 9 a.m. at breakfast, like going to breakfast, like people are like, yo, this yo, guy's got some. Yo, that's a guy. That's, that's like, a, guy. a guy, dude. Or like on a fucking. Most salads in New York. What the that's fuck? so tight. I'm the rebel. Like, Most salad, the Agassiz. <laughs> and then people are like, why are you wearing a suit? I'm like, no reason. Yeah, and it's also no, just because I want. Yeah. To. It's nice. It's well, I, except I really when it gets like super it. hot. Out. I really like yeah. it. It's nice to have What's the freedom. That? Except when it gets super hot out. It's yeah, not that cool. exactly. Which is why I switched to pajamas. Yeah. But it's nice to have the freedom to decide to wear the suit because you want to, not exactly. because you have to. I've never had to wear a suit for work. So it's always it used to be a special occasion. Yeah. And now just the daily wear. Do you have a number one tip for a guy looking to buy his first suit? Yeah. All the guys are converting to. Is it Suit Boy Summer? Is that what we're. I don't know if everyone's. Doing. I call it that. I okay. might wear a suit to the fucking. Well, I Premier. thought it was red carpet, but yeah, to the, uh, dude, to the outdoor screen. Repeat. You're good. Wear the suit. The little Marnie. And I'll, I'm, bringing, yeah. I'm bringing my shit. I'm bringing the carpet. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. person right. May I step on your carpet, sir? <laughs> of course. Open yeah, sesame. Yeah, so take your shoes off. <laughs> May I yeah, go exactly. for take a magic carpet off. ride? Yeah. Just take your shoes off. Can um, you show me the world? Of course. Uh, I'm not so wait, sing. I'm not allowed to sing. No. I was just pretending I was James. <laughs> you can sing the you. lyrics, but you can't in, you can't interpolate the lyrics. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Take oh, okay. you wonder by wonder over sideway X and under on a Magic, magic carpet, carpet ride. See, those are the. Wait, is that lyrics. actually the? Yeah, uh, I, just, oh, I, I know the song by heart, bro. I grew up in Minnesota as an Egyptian person. That song is like my saving grace. Right, right, right. Um, That's your cult. That is your culture. Yeah, it's my culture. Even though Agrabah is not a real place. Lawrence is a white boy culture. Wait, you're kidding me. It's not real. Now yeah. you're going to tell me that what <laughs> Simba didn't speak English. Wait, Agrabah looks. He like spoke Afrikaans. <laughs> What's up? It looks real. Yeah. 
It Lawrence's does. culture is Steppenwolf magic carpet ride. No, my, washing his car and his fucking. No, my sack. culture is uh, King of Egypt. Is that the movie they did about the Old Testament, like the the cartoon of the of the oh, Passover? Uh, this bit or what is it called? I don't know, but this bit's dying. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so what's on. number one tip? Uh, make sure it's a little bigger than you think it should be. Okay. Especially awesome. right now. Yeah. Despite but, what Jillian says. But also, says. I see MF's <laughs> like wearing like fucking tight. I'm like, it's like it's not comfortable. Make sure that it doesn't pull. You know, these are things that I'm learning. Get some movement in there. And yeah, yeah, get some movement. Make sure the materials. All, also, the materials are very important. You know, it's like they're, they're, and there's so many. There's the fucking 100 percent wool. There's the linen wool. There's mm-hmm. the pure linen. There's the, the cotton blends. linen. There's the blend. It's like there's a lot. And I would just say, like, go there, touch them, feel the fabric yes. and figure it out. But I mean, I'm a beginner, like. But I think it's very nice. I think it's very cool. But you're Eventually, welcoming people with open arms into this new lifestyle. Yeah, gatekeeping course, Superboy Summer. Dude, I'm fucking, I'm like into people just being themselves. I'm a nice boy. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm nice. I'm happy. I like when other people are happy. I would never, make, I would never make fun of somebody for wearing something. Kind of. Um, yeah. Unless it was a fucking, like, you know. Unless you were a fucking Unless it was Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> unless you looked like a fucking asshole yeah. wearing Balenci. Uh, speaking of people laughing at what you're wearing. How much Amelie on door do you own? I have one pair of the five fifties, one pair of the beef and broccolis, and one pair of white five. Pa- five I thought you had. I thought five. you had multiple pairs. Of the How did, yeah, you no. had all three pairs of five fifty. The original. How did that happen? Stockx, bro. Oh hell yeah! yeah I, I thought you won like. Three that's how you ra- got to suit. That's I got one guy that won three raffles. I randomly. did. I got all three of the colorways, expecting and, to just get one. Yes, by axe, and then and then you know how they do it. They're it's like, like IVF, and it's like you're having your the octo yeah. But they're now. like, if you win, you automatically get charged. Yeah, because they have your car on file. Yeah, so they it's just fucking smart. charge me for I was just like, I want one. I hope I win one. Oh, so you're going for one and you... Yeah, and I got three. So <laughs> you signed up for all three and then so you got I was three. like, guys, look at my video. And you guys were like, this guy's a fucking... What do you, you profit What do you profit off the I sold, sold them at cost. They were like okay. $220 or whatever. That's nice of you. I, I mean, the I, they're not going. They they're went not, to a better home. They're, they're not going. Like on StockX, mm-hmm. they're like, they're 219 or so whatever. So you funded your Burlington Coat Factory suit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a nice suit. I mean, it's fucking like really shitty fabric, but it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, and then I own the 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 carpenter jeans or whatever. The, the double knee. Mm. The white ones. The mm. This is the back rub Bobby fit. I fucking, yeah. Uh, that's is that a character rub. we're going to see more of? Uh, you'll see various iterations of. Of back rub Bobby. Of, of downtown fashion <laughs> boy. Back row Bobby. Back row Bobby, a.k.a. Back row Bobby. Is Back row Bobby 35 or is Back row Bobby like 25? He's 25. He's 25. Yeah, he's 25. He just looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's been, he's been Where do you get the Noah Popeye barber for Back row Bobby? Uh, the, the Nolita Dirt Bay provided. Uh, I was going to say, speaking of bad John, that's the worst John. He, he owns that kit. shit? Oh, he probably got no, it. No, no, he, he borrowed it. Okay. It was on. Lease. Oh no! All his boys work at Noah. They oh, were. True, 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 true. We met a few of them I was here like, at what? four in the morning one time. <laughs> I don't know what any of those fucking. It's actually like ten p.m. <laughs> What's up? And you, you know? stayed the whole night. It was uh, the afters were occurring at normally the time that the befores would occur. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. We just upped the timeline. That's hot. We accelerated the timeline. It was. Uh, it was. It was a uh, daylight saving. So you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it. <laughs> Acceleration. You know how, you know how it be. <laughs> well. You were so Bobby Backrub debuted on No Eated Dirt Bags TikTok, which pff, barely any followers. Not nearly. <laughs> but um, then I, hater today. I, I clicked over your shit and you have like almost half a mil. Yeah. How do you get so big on TikTok? It's a fucking farce, bro. <laughs> buying, selling followers, buying, really? Selling, no, no. no. <laughs> Wheeling and Yo, dealing. can I just say? I hate selling. <laughs> you can sell. You can yeah, sell your own followers. Sell followers. <laughs> Be fire. Yeah. I'm a fucking hustler, bro. But I sell anything. Fucking 550. Sell water to a whale. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, speaking of which. Sell uh, followers to a cloud I would, chaser. I would like to make a pitch. I do own the Instagram account at run. If anyone's like, are you in? Yes. If anyone's interested in Instagram. In, yes. If anyone's interested in <laughs> it, please. What DM What's me. on there now? Just like five pictures of runners. It would be cool if they were like uh, completely stock photos. Like they with like, much. I'm going to look it up right now. You just run straight up. Run. Yeah. I copped it in uh, bitcoins about four years ago from some French guy. How, how, many, how, many, how, many, how many bitcoins did you, did you pay? Yeah. How many did I pay back then? I yeah. think it was like two. Oh, you got like a cute little logo. You bought, you copped it for I what just was the made price that of Bitcoin? Like, I made that on like fucking yeah. Microsoft. Pay how much Bitcoin do you have right now? I'm not telling you. Like a lot. Like. I can afford a Range Rover, bro. <laughs> <laughs> On the dark web. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, no, I have a say- couple. I, no, I don't even have a couple. I have like less than one because I spent it on this fucking account that yeah, I exactly. thought I was going to be able to flip. It's not easy to flip. Is that account worth uh, $60,000 right now? I think so. Probably. But you also own runners of Instagram.com. So this is like a package. You can buy, run, and you get a little URL. Well, I was like, let me pa- I was trying to package it and sell it and flip it. And it's been unflipped. A community built for runners like you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this? I'm trying to make money, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna fill out this survey real quick. Wait, so your fo- your followers on TikTok, those are fake. Those are real. No, those, those are real. real. Okay. Yeah. How do you like is it just a volume game? Honestly, a couple of viral videos on TikTok will get you a lot of followers. Mm. I've had I had like I the first video I ever did, or maybe the like fifth, I had a great one. It is very throwing fits brand, like you know, related. And it was like the evolution of a Midwesterner as a New Yorker. Oh, the eight, Classic. Months, eight days, eight months. Yep, eight years, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that was the first video. And that probably got me like a hundred thousand. Yeah. You know what rip. I mean? People Off love rip. making fun of how expensive New York is. Yeah. And well, like that universal. level, the well, style sorry, evolution sorry that you're is very broke. real. Sorry it's, that you're broke. Yeah. I'm, we're, Not we're, you, them. We're sitting here in these, uh, this palace. Yeah. The Drugs house. We're actually at oh, Caesar's Palace. Myself. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus the, Christ. Beep. I was going to say, we're at Caesar's Palace in Atlantic City right now. Yeah. Uh, doing this show. Can I just say real quick? So um, I have a friend that uh, a friend group that what they did was they as a birthday present for someone, this person had like 200 followers. They bought them 50,000 followers just like as a joke. And so now this like random person that never posts on Instagram has like 52,000 followers, which is hilarious. And like brands will approach him being like, yo, can you like do, do you want to like partner up? And he's like, no. Um, Yo, like, why is your engagement dog shit? Yeah, why do you, Wait, why do you have three you? likes on this? Fucking- why is my boy getting brand deals? I ain't getting shit. Are you not? Do you not have brands approaching you when they see the the TikTok? I get those least? DMs that are like, "Hi, we would like to collaborate with you. Let me send you some like panties mm. and for free." Why aren't you saying yes? Use I need please. Money. Panties don't pay the bills. I'm yeah, but he's right. He's, run. He's, I got he's no right. Cash. Bro, here's what you do. You put on the panties, you go for a run, you document it on Runner's World, and then you fucking sell them <laughs> to some pervert, bro. <laughs> Runner. Runner's World, dude. Yeah, Runner's World. Yeah. I don't even run. You got you got to get the runs on the runs. I run one mile. I tried to do... You don't run, run, but you run at run. I mean, that is one of my hustles. Mm-hmm. Like, not right now. Right. I'm not Like, flipping hustling. usernames? Yeah, username. I, I will... F- this is not like, oh, like, do you, you have, can sell uh, salt to uh, Marjorie Taylor Green 2026 dot <laughs> com? <laughs> Not what other yeah. what other usernames have you flipped? No, I've just I, it's not just usernames; it's just things like just things on the internet. What's the biggest profit you made in a single flip or sale? A single transaction, crypto dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our title. Done. Wait. <laughs> dot com? No, no. Dot this is edu. A, this is a this crypto is a, dick butt arena. This dot is a, com. <laughs> this is not not suitable for twerk uh, NFT. It's called a crypto dick butt. Okay. I'm not pumping it right now. Please do not do, <laughs> do as, not invest. Like, in do not dick take butt. this as a Wait. like. I'm saying like you gotta buy dick butts. Did you mint a crypto dick butt coin? I no. I just bought a dick butt. My friend Pierre was like, "Wait, Look what at, is a dick butt?" I'm lost. It's literally a dick with a butt, and I was what? like, <laughs> "And it's an Wait, NF- so there's oh, a it's penis. a br- oh dick butt is a brand. It's it's like a little guy. Thing. It's like a little character. It's a character. Yeah. And I was like, th- I was like, this is absolutely dick the butt yacht dumbest. club. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but they were yeah, like, yeah. we have no utility. We have no point. There's no roadmap. There's it's nothing. A joke. It is, a joke. and I was like, I'm in. Say um, less. Say how less. Much, I'm sold. How much did you buy it for? Three racks. How much did you sell it for? Ten. Woo-hoo-hoo! God damn. And now the fucking you got that sh- dick butt money. Those yo, dick butts be fucking dick butt. Dick dude. butt is so funny to say. Yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, the title of this episode is crypto dick butt. Crypto dick butt with Kareem Rama. <laughs> With Mo with Bamba, fat Masala, with Mo Fat Mo Bamba, call it Fat Mo Salah. I don't know. I don't know if people are gonna know what crypto dick butts are. Call it the Fat Mo Salah episode. The Fat Mo Salah show. <laughs> now it's twice the Mo. Yeah. Have you? How many times have you gone viral at this point? Would you say a lot? I. I, I and yeah, a good. T- is it still ten? Is, is it still a rush? It's still a rush, but now I'm trying to like. This is gonna sound very douchey and pretentious, but like I'm trying to te- tra- like. I'm trying to look at it as like performance art. Sure. Right. So like with that's the, kind of pretentious. No, I know. But but it's also I'm trying to contextualize it into something beyond. Just OK, like you sound going, worse now. Like, OK, <laughs> think about that. Fuck with you. You dip the beer and you dip the hot dog in the beer. Yeah. You dip the dick in the butt. I dip the dick. <laughs> you take the D. You put it in the. Beer. Yeah. OK. So the, the hot, the, so the hot dog in the beer. And I didn't put a name on it. And we didn't like it wasn't me. Right. And just let it go. He didn't even know it was. I didn't know. I know you. Let, that's what I'm saying. I knew that's why. That, that's what I'm saying. It's performative. It's like it's not Kareem going viral. It's just the video, and there's no context. And I was like, also shocked that it was going. Oh, viral. this is like, some Batman shit. It's a. It's an idea. It's bigger than me. Yes. Yeah. But I was surprised. Exactly. I was like, this isn't that crazy. No, it's not. But that's why. It Have worked. you actually? Were you inspired because you saw someone actually doing that? Like, Fuck no. I was just like, what is the? What is something that's going to work? Like, what is? What, what are some a, other options? Also, I, can you can you explain what we're talking about for the audience? Interrupting him at home. Who might not know? No, this I little am, cute I little am. guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the skinny Mo Salah? <laughs> Can you explain? No, for- you look like that dude. Oh, God. He just flashed into my head and then he laughed. Oh, damn. 
Robert Duvall. Fat Michael Fassbender. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Fatbender? <laughs> The last fat bender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take fat. Honestly, fat Mo Salah and fat Michael Fassbender are bangers. Yeah. For the people at home who might not know what we're talking about, the hot dog and the beer, can you just quickly explain? That's why you I did the hot dog and a beer. Young Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. With the worst hairline. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, me and Nico were at a Yankees game. I'm a mess fan. With Kuj. Shadow mess. With Kuj. And we were just like, what should we do? Like, we had went to the Mets game before the week before. And I did this thing where I put two glizzies in the pocket. Mm. I double glizzied up in the pocket. So when you when you guys are all uh, chumming around, are you constantly like, are you looking at the world with a, like a lens of a content viral? Brain? Well, no, 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 no. Kuj is like wants nothing to do with right with with anything. with you. <laughs> yeah, he's like with anyone really. Out. Yeah, he's the winner. Yeah, he's he's famous. But you have maybe rich. you have content. You have terminal content brain. No, it's like I was it's just like when you see an opportunity to go for it, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. And so so it's like Nick has Eminem the Hawkeye. Nick sees shit from like yeah. so far away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just like be like, hey, what if I put a couple hot dogs in my pocket? And he's like, no one's <laughs> gonna think it's real. I'm like, yeah, they will. And so I did this thing with the double hot dog in the pocket. Everyone was like, Holy fuck, that's crazy. Blah, blah, blah. And then yeah, the next time we were there <laughs> is I was like, I'm gonna dip my beer in in or I'm gonna dip my hot dog in beer. And then, you know, obscure the face. I borrowed an outfit. Mm. I borrowed a full yank because I was wearing regular clothes, yeah. dipped it, and then full let it go. And mind. then you just let it go. Though. And let's see, let, let, and let God hand sort it out. Exactly. And then once it ended up on Fallon, God's I was like, plan. it was me. Right. Because I want a little bit of, a little bit of, well, uh, once you know? it's on Fallon, we got to start getting our cloud up for yeah, you. Right. Exactly. Or uh, Jon Jonah Hill Day was on Kimmel. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, our, yeah. I mean, we were on Kimmel. You were on Fallon. We get it. <laughs> what about like, Club? Kimmel's skinny, uh, skinny Fallon. Yeah. Yeah. So you went two for two over the last, over those two weeks. What's like a viral stunt you've maybe tried to pull off that like absolutely flopped besides getting divorced <laughs> for clout? You mean getting married? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Getting married originally. This that bit was, is over. That was served. Uh, that was, that didn't work at all. Yeah. I did something that I thought would work that didn't work and it was a lot of work. <laughs> what was it? I said work a lot. Uh, I did this like series of, FaceTimes, fake FaceTimes with celebrities mm -hmm. using Cameo to like book them. Got it. And then I would just have them say like, I would just be like, say these lines. Mm -hmm. And then I would record myself saying lines based on their lines. And right. then I had them match together. You duetted their Cameo. I, I duetted their Cameos. Who were the Cameos from and how much did the final bill run you for all of them? I think it was at least $1,000. God Because I, I did 10 boy? of them. He was a thousand alone. Isn't I know we we've talked about him being the most expensive person on Cameo on the show. <laughs> How much is it? He's like a thousand dollars. He's the most. He's the well because what the reason the, is, the story expensive. is when Cameo approached us, they were like, "Hey, do you want to do this?" And we're like, "Yeah, we'll do it for a thousand dollars a thing." And like, well, that's what Soldier Boy charges, and he's the most famous person on Cameo at this yeah. point. And we're like, "Okay, that's Soldier Boy." Money. We said nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. We're like, "Okay, maybe we'll, we'll circle back." <laughs> okay, go fuck yourselves. That's so good. Okay, so who you are ten? Cool. Do you remember off top? Uh, Andy Dick. <laughs> Bam Margera fire. Perez These guys are still Hilton. alive. Perez Hilton. God damn. <laughs> um, it's a real murder. The row. lady from Tiger King. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Oh, sure. Uh, Mr. Big. And how many R views? R.I.P. Yeah, <laughs> Big Rip. Wow. How uh, many, Chris many, Noth. How many views Chris did you Noth. get? Not a lot. Like a thousand, two thousand each. And but people like the people that were watching it are like, I mean, the whole thing I want to do is like, is this real or not? Right. right. You know, like Andy Kaufman esque. And a lot of people were like, holy fuck, how do you, how do you know all these people? Because I was presenting as like, just FaceTimed with my buddy Chris Noth about blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it didn't work, though. But it's like art. I like to treat it as art. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying new things. Had, sure. had, when was the last time you like had an idea of whether pitched you by somebody else like Nico and you were like, I have I actually do have some shame. I'm going to turn this down. That's happened often. Yeah. Yeah. What was the last instance? I got hit up by some crypto coin. Dick butt, Mr. Yeah. Dick butt. No, himself. Dick butt's pro I'm pro Dick butt. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> was, it, was it pussy ass? <laughs> it was nose cunt. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cancel. <laughs> Keep that in the podcast. I'm pushing the limits. Nose cunt coin? <laughs> yeah. It's character. Uh, no, it was like some crypto thing. They wanted to do a blah, blah, blah. And I was, it was the same thing. I was like, what's the budget? And they're like, we'll pay you in these fake coins. Fuck that. Yeah, I was dick, like, eat play my nose cunt. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, eat my nose cunt. Suck my dick ass. Silly fucks. <laughs> Silly little fucks. I want to ask you this. I want to go back to TikTok real quick because uh, we talked about the Bobby Backrub character and how you've gone viral on there a bunch of times and have half a mil. What's the worst type of TikTok guy? Because now it's becoming a thing where every week there's like an archetype that 
you see on TikTok like weeks ago, but then the olds get their hands on it and they post like they download the video and post it on Twitter and they're like, oh, like th- fuck this guy. In your opinion, like what's the worst type of TikTok archetype you see I'm on fucking, there? I'm fucking, I'm not into vlog, vlog boys. Yeah. I'm not like into day in the like, life. Yeah. I'm not into that. I think it's so fucking corny and cheesy and boring. You right. know, I just don't like the boy. Wait, even if you have a cool job at Reddit. <laughs> Wait, is that the guy? I remember him. Yeah, yeah. He's buff and like has a skateboard or something. With yeah. a trash hairline. <laughs> yeah. Ironically enough. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. You know, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest sh- uh, soldiers. He's like, I can get you a sick job at Reddit, <laughs> a fire social life. You're going to be jacked, a whole array of crop tops, but I'm going to push your hairline all the way back, son. He nothing works in mysterious ways. He's got nothing to work Just, with. The best thing about that guy is that he he loves to name drop his like friends where he's like, and they aren't anybody like they aren't like notable people, but he's like Savannah and Trixie invited us to the gallery art opening. Yeah. Then I Cody know. said there's a rooftop going off like in the oh. in the LES. Well, it's performative gossip. Then early kind of then Rudolph yeah, and Dixon and Prancer said to come out to Bushwick. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, this motherfucker does have friends named after reindeers. hundred yeah. percent. That's a young. That's a youth. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe maybe when he says Chris, he means jo- Jillionaire, you know, maybe he doesn't. Oh, that's right. That's true. Uh, I might parody that, though. Yeah, that would be a fun one. You should. You really should. Yeah. I think um, Cam Tang did a parody of that, but like an L.A. version. Oh, OK. Before this even became like a genre on TikTok, but you should do the New York version. Oh, well, let me a thousand one up, percent. Let me one up him. Yeah. I did one, too. Uh, a day in the life of stand up comedian. It went viral. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question real quick? Like, actually, some advice. Yeah. So, whenever we, um, whenever our social media Grom R. Kelly, that's actually his name, uh, posts a clip of us on TikTok, like doing some bands, I, for whatever reason, I get absolutely fucking flamed in the comments. Um, so, as a fellow old man on TikTok, what would be your advice to me on how to win over the hearts and minds of these mentally undeveloped, troubled youths? <laughs> fucking ignore those Way little maps, dude. Do yeah. not read the comments. Do you get fu- do you get fucked in the comments? Yeah, they call they call me like Fat, fat Mo- they, <laughs> No, worse. They call me the coach from Big Mouth or whatever that. Do you know who I'm talking Wait, about? The gym teacher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, why? You don't speak like they that. No, you. they say I think I look like him. They no. Oh, when I had the mustache. Oh, yeah, I can yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. Or, he's bald on top and has like the hair. Yeah, he he does look, kind of look like me. They kind of okay, right. so, or sideshow Bob. I want to I want to just dip my glizzy in my bud. <laughs> or or they're like why? Yeah, they're like why does this guy sound like he has 14 hot dogs in his mouth? <laughs> right. Which that comment, Doing the pocket do you know how many times I repeat that? But you don't sound like you have 14 glizzies in your throat. What are, are they sure about that? Because well, of your gravelly gravitas? Yeah, you got more hot dogs in your I shit than say, I do. Bro, I got a fucking gas pack. I think it's because I had. Dude. I used to have a speech impediment. I was tongue-tied when I was a youth. Really? What is yeah. That's the official diagnosis? I don't know what the scientific word is, but like that is a real, yeah. Is that, what is, how, is that a stutter? Your tongue is... The little, little thing that connects it to your mouth underneath your tongue. The frenulum. You have a normal one. The frenulum. Yeah. Mr. You have one on guy. your penis as well. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, I was laughing. Are you cut? I yeah. thought it was a joke. Are you, are you cut? I'm cut. Yeah. So you have a frenulum. Okay. So I have a frenulum. It's on the underside of the penis. Yeah. Head. Do you sit in the mirror with your leg like, spread and look at your cock sometimes? Yeah. Every day. <laughs> every day. Just got it. I give it a little uh, bussy steam. <laughs> you steam your bussy. Yeah, I take my clothes and right I right fucking right. steam my that's, bussy. <laughs> that sounds painful. Oh, that's great. Oh god, that's a hot, hot steam on the gooch. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, so if he's supposed to ignore the comments of the haters, which I agree, never read the comments specifically on TikTok. How can he? How can we go viral like you? How do we impress them? Forget what's on, what's just, currently on the talk? Uh, it's just podcast clips. Clips from the pod. We're and gonna have he, clips about you uh, talking about like uh, steaming your pussy. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna do a deep fake of you steaming your pussy. We should do, we should do an actual one. <laughs> and then sometimes, or you used to do front facing comedy. I would do like the whatever trending sound and just front apply it to video like, the John's world. I've seen yours. Yours are funny. Thank you. I've seen I've seen your TikToks in particular. And do you follow us? Yeah. Do you follow us? I, I follow you on Instagram for Respect. sure. Maybe I saw them on Instagram. Oh, not on TikTok. Oh, sure, sure, sure. But I still seen them, and I think they're funny, and they Thank should you. work. And I would say just keep up. Keep doing that. Since you stopped doing them, I will say that the growth in the talk has significantly Look, stalled. It's not, that I, it's not that I've gotten discouraged by the comments. I'm just fucking, I don't want to, like, no, I have more important things to do. It than sucks. Like steam your, I think steam your frenulum. I think yeah. it's over <laughs> fucking uh, appreciated, right? Like, I have 450,000 followers. Guess what, the, well, guess what that's gotten me? Literally nothing. Right. Maybe 40% off on a suit. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Friends and family. At Joseph A. Banks. Yeah. But, yeah Mr. At, Banks no, himself. Hey, my son bro. said he saw you on TikTok. That's the Burlington suit. It was $7. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they, but that's the thing. Like, I don't know. Like, it, you, I, my, I now only do TikTok at, for fun. Okay. I was doing it to like pivot from being like an entrepreneur to a comedian mm. and I had to like grind it out for a sure. while. 
But now it's all gravy now. Yeah. If I'm not getting paid for it, I'm not doing it. And if I'm not having fun, I'm not doing it. I like that. If I'm I not get, getting paid for it, I'm not doing it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Respect. That's, and like, if you want to <laughs> focus on, you got to <laughs> focus, you got to focus, <laughs> focus on that long, long term, long form shit. You guys already have the pod. Mm-hmm. You already have the brand. Sure. You already have the fits. Got you already the have merch. the shorts. Everything's meticulous. Got the bitches for Everything's sure. Everything's great. You know, meticulous. The hose meticulous. Well, we got the, the we got the money. Meticulous. We got the power. We got the respect. We got we the hose. <laughs> a couple of fucking hours. Yes, in, in, a, in a varying order. You don't yeah. have hose. I'm married. He has I, have a one, I have one hoe. That's great. And he's my a, dog. He two hoes. Yeah, you know what they hoe. say? One hoe is enough for one bro. <laughs> no, no yep. one hoe is worth a thousand bitches. Yeah. Well, oh, one good hoe. One yeah. good hoe. Yeah. yeah. And he's got the and two hoes equals a gaggle of bitches. Technically, and the hoes don't fly far from the tree. No, sir. So besides going viral, what content yours does the worst? <laughs> what does what does the worst? Yeah, yeah. Views wise, oh fuck. What, dude. Which a one of lot, your which man. one of all I your flop, shit sucks? I flop dude. a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm big a flop, flop big, big flop. Energy. The frenulum be flopping. Yeah, yeah the frenulum be flopping. I just fucking throw shit at the wall, dude. I feel like the stuff that I put a lot of energy into flops, and a lot and anything that I do like on a whim. Yeah, like the fucking Bobby Backrub video Boom. was literally fuck unscripted. It. Viral Zuvi. Just just fucking slammed. Do you get discouraged thing. then when like you put like a bunch of time and effort into a thing that is just a straight brick or are no, you it's practice and, and I, I do find a little bit of fun in the uh, you know the journey or whatever the fuck they call it you know it's like, about the journey not the destination yeah, and like the work I, I I feel like every time I do it it gets a little bit like I, fun, have, right? I have this yeah. music that I pivoted to from I say pivot so much I'm removing that from my vocabulary you do have this. some of your vocabulary is still from the hustle nomic days I 100% think so. I think so yeah and I think about we'll it circle very, back to that I think about it very strategically later. yeah <laughs> There you go. I don't know if it was a bit. Um, yeah, I'd rather have you inside the tent pissing in than outside. Oh, wait, never mind. Rather, wait, no, no, you got it. You got it. I'd no, rather have it. you inside the tent pissing out than outside the tent pissing in. That's like, my fucking guy right that's there. That's corporate speak. Yeah, that's corporate speak. That's sexy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm it's, turned on. It's that's like finance. That's cor- like finance, bro. Speak. Corporate, corporate speak is sometimes like Chinese menu. They're like, we'll de- we'll develop a Chinese menu for you, and you can. Just Whoa! Options. You haven't heard this? No, no, we what? say what me- we, we say menu to brands all the time. We'll get you a menu. Chinese menu? Ad agencies say that. Huh? Why? Ad agencies, they'll just be like, "Oh, we'll come up with a couple ideas. It'll be a Chinese menu. Pick what you're you want." You're supposed to say Oriental menu. Why do you say like a like a diner menu or something? No, it's just this, as wait, long. It's Chinese menu? Yeah, Bro, and then, come and then on another now. guy the other day is no like, you know, that. "We'll give you a little peek behind the kimono." Somebody, whoa, that, I swear that is, I like that. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> no, dude. people say it. And I'm just like, this is like, yeah. Go ahead and say it, but I'm that's not. Like, <laughs> that's <laughs> both off- that's offensive and, in a racial way and a sexual way. Yeah. yeah. And pretty I mean, funny. And they're not even comedians. They're just serious. Yeah. I'll show you my <laughs> Chinese <laughs> cock next meeting. They're just idiots. Just I'll show dumb. you my Chinese frenulum. <laughs> Who's your most famous follower? <laughs> on any platform. Ooh. And you can't say Jillionaire. Olivia Wilde. Whoa. Wow. Go on. Wait, go on. on. on TikTok? Aquafina. Well, Aquafina. no, but. She's Aquafina. Wait, Olivia Wilde. I'd like to peek behind her. I'm, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping it. I have a couple. Well, Olivia Wilde on TikTok or on IG? Yeah, on or? IG. Wow. On IG? So when you promote this podcast, Olivia Wilde will be looking at yeah, us. Yeah, she looks at the stories. Olivia Wilde, come on the podcast. Word? Yeah. Is she the DM, one? Bro? I just, I Let, can her, we, let's get her on the fucking podcast. Wait, I sent her the, uh, is she the which Harry, one is Olivia Wilde? Is she the Harry Styles? <laughs> is she the Harry, she's the Harry Styles girl, right? Uh, you mean Harry Styles is the Olivia Wilde guy. What? See, sorry. You were, you, Harry, it's, Harry Styles is the Olivia You were Wilde prescribing guy. ownership to yes. the male when it yes. should be the yeah. other way around. She is the one that. Was married to Jason Sudeikis, the yeah. singers yes. guy. Yes. Okay, she lived she is, right by us. She too. directed the movie Book Smart, or the, yes. about the two girls mm-hmm. that are kind of like super yeah. bad. Which honestly, it was fun. Yeah, mids. I'm excited Ooh. for this new one though. I prefer Super. What's bad. the new one with Florence Pugh and Harry Styles? I love Harry Styles. Yeah, he's great. Thoughts? Hmm? Thoughts? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I mean, I'd put my dick in his butt. I like his music. Yeah. Eh. I need his dick ass. <laughs> yeah. I need his nose cunt. His music's uh, whatever. Yeah. No, she's I I DM send her invite. Yo, to do, you think on the pod. do you think she showed Harry Styles any of your comedy? No, no, maybe. Do you think she showed no. Harry Styles any of your fits? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, fucking Harry, not. Did you know it's a fucking soup boy <laughs> summer. <laughs> she's like, why would she be talking like a fucking British grand? Because Harry is. <laughs> she one hundred percent has never mentioned him. Harry her. Styles actually thinks mentioned. that's what her voice sounds like. She's yeah. she she's locked into Harry. It, right? Harry. Harry Styles. Oh, it's the Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Harry a, Styles. You're a soup boy, Summers. Harry. Okay, so Olivia Wilde, Wild, Aquafina. Can you ask Olivia Wilde to come on the pod? Do you DM yeah, with her, or are you just like you're not? Yeah, trying we DM, to- but as friends. <laughs> Versus what colleagues, peers? No, like I, I don't really like up. Yeah. Have you guys, have you guys ever fuck? met? You guys I'm ever- not sliding. 
Well, she agreed. Right. Obviously. I'm cautiously approaching. Have yeah. you guys ever met? Yeah. Is she cool in person? Yeah. Very nice. Very, very What did smart. she think of her now ex-husband being a grown man sneakerhead? He we, always was, though. We never, know. Get, we never talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we never bring up um, Ted Lasso. Did you divorce your significant other because they were a sneakerhead like she did? No, she was the opposite of sneakerhead. Okay. Her it's kicks were trash. Not shout out. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> What's her relationship like with your ex-wife? Just real quick. No, no talk. Don't speak. Damn. Yeah. I mean, but we're, let's just say we're like, if I saw her on the street, I would say hello. And she would say hello. And I'd say goodbye. Yeah. And she'd say goodbye. Farewell. Wow. It's not contentious. Right. But, but it's not amicable either. We're not going to have coffee. Mm, all right. But but she's very nice. Well, and maybe, one day, and maybe thing. one day you will. I think will, will she listen to this podcast? A hundred percent not. Okay. Kareem, you pivoted from being a married guy to a divorced guy. Pivoted. You also are pivoting into music. You have an album coming out at the end of the summer. What the fuck can we expect there, bro? <sighs> yeah. Well, it's very, very, very... I've always wanted to be in a band. I've always wanted to make music. Mm -hmm. Don't have the tools. Have a bad voice. Don't know how to play a single instrument. Hit up my old friend, Tyler, Tyler McCauley, Tyler, the creator. Yeah, was gonna say. He's the new Tyler, the creator. Right. Uh, and he's been making music for 50 Tyler, years. the destroyer. Uh, yeah. Tyler's the destroyer <laughs> destroys me every day in the studio. Mm -hmm. destroys, yes. destroys my dick butt. Uh, and I was like, hey, I really want to make a song. And he was like, cool. Come into the studio. We made a first song. It was really fun. It was really good. And then we made like five more. And they've done really well. They're they're actually one of my high performers on TikTok. There's really? the Halloween jam. The Halloween joint was the first one. What's that was, called? It's called uh, I Love Halloween. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Spooky season. I love Halloween. Right, right, right. Cool. And I was just like, oh, there's not really many Halloween songs. And I, and I was like, I mean, there's so many Halloween songs. Name well, one. There's like Monster the Monster Mash. Smash. That is from 1300. Uh, three. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's do the Time Warp now. I don't know that song. Well, it's that's Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky, that's not a Never Halloween it. song. Yeah, it is. What about the Grave Diggers or Three Six Mafia? They have uh, Project Ghetto pa Boys has a Halloween Pro song. Project Pat Red Rum. Ooh, that's yeah. no, that's a that's a scary Red song. Rum. No, it's Halloween. It celebrates Halloween. Red, Red Rum. Rum. Wow, Red I don't I, see this is the thing. I don't Samples Google. The Shining. It's a Halloween. I need song. to. I need to be uninfluenced. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I love Halloween. I, I love, love Halloween. Halloween. That's yeah. a fucking bang. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, there's no contemporary. Well. I can show you. <laughs> The world, the, world uh, the, Halloween. the Sonics. She's a witch. Okay, you guys have a lot more fucking Google time than I do because I <laughs> never. Did you Google, Google time. Halloween the, songs? The monsters. Who uh, knows all of this? The monsters. Daddy intro, needs his Google time. The monsters <laughs> intro. Steve Aoki remix. <laughs> Hardest drop of all time. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, <laughs> so so there was no Halloween songs that you were familiar with, so you wrote one. Yes, there are no uh, the summer anthems history. that you're familiar with. So you wrote a summer anthem. <laughs> I've never heard a summer anthem in my life. Are you kidding me, dude? The last one was 1738. No, right. last one was Mo Pamba. That's, yeah, <laughs> was it? I remember yeah. Fetty Wap was the end of summer song oh, for me. What was that song? And it says, what's up? Hello. I'm like, hey, trap, what, trap queen? queen. I'm like, that hey, what's up? Hello. Banged. And that was also the same. Uh, I'm like, hey, what's up? Trick or treat. Same summer that uh, Drake and uh, and Future released. Uh, what a time to be alive. That was fucking. That was a time. Diamonds on me dance. Uh, can we talk about your, your summer anthem that you're dropping? Yeah. yeah it's, it's called Meticulous Vibe. Are we going to hear it at the end of this episode? Fuck. Oh, yeah. should that be? So the outro music currently is Mo Bamba. I'm sure we use it for Let's Can we use it as. A hundred percent. I will, of course, not put is it that on the, the record. Would that be the premiere publicly? That would be the fucking drop of Meticulous All Vibe. Right. Yeah. So right. when I was Bye -bye. writing it, I was like, this shit. This is the vibe. This is podcast outro music it's right here, dude. <laughs> Look, I got I, it. And because I'm a because you guys are a friend prize, I'll give it to you for five dick butts. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this song requires an hour and a half long intro. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the I'm very excited. Everyone that I've sent it to has said this is your best one yet, which I've done. The five. beat is hard. Yeah, it fucking it's I was like, mm, I banged it on the way here in the car. Did the mm. car test. Oh, whip test. Oh, yeah. Who did I learn that from? Whip test. It's literally every rapper, every rapper that's yeah. ever existed. What are you uh, talking about? I think about? I learned on Zach Fox episode. Okay. Oh. I was, uh, there's a specific moment where I learned. Another. And John Caramonica mm. does it all the time. Yeah. And he's a. He's the Zach is another kind of comedian that made a music pivot incredibly successfully, His mainly because is, he has bars for days. His shit is much, much. That's like inspired. Like when you see that, you're kind of like inspired to. He was. He was go definitely. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 but for him, like his music is funny and witty and smart, but also more music first. Yeah. Right. Like sure. it's more. Are he's a technically first? a good rapper. I'm more on the Lonely Island song gotcha. side, except Parody. not as. Yeah. Some it changes like Halloween song was fully like stupid Lonely Island meticulous vibe 
is more something that I would like people to just weird out crypto. Do you dick and butt? Do you want to make like if if all of a sudden the music took off, would you be happy being a musician? Fuck yeah, primarily? Dude, I'd, be, I'd be like that's on probably that, the best one. It would be so, so much fun. It would be like that little so much that little B tip. That's that talent tip. Yeah, that's yeah, talent. Uh, more Ta- money. Talent in, frenulum. Talent frenulum. More money drip, in music drip, drip. than comedy, probably. Or absolutely, I would love to do both. Honestly, I would love to do both. Like Adam Sandler. Like fucking again, great inspiration. Sa- Enter you know. Sandman. The problem with the comedy song. There's no. Is are there don't any? Want to keep listening to that? Are there any Ramadan mm. anthems? Like he, a, he, the Hanukkah song. You right? want to be on it? The Ramadan. <laughs> so much shit rhymes with Ramadan. We'll call it, we'll call it Ramadan. Yeah, and it's wow. about big fat cocks. Fuck yeah, dude! <laughs> that are fasting. Yeah, yeah. Because fasting, but the cock still. You know, fat. no. During Ramadan, your cock is also fasting. Can you not? Wait, you can't put anything in your penis in your up your urethra. <laughs> <laughs> Just an ass. You can't you can put in some water. In yeah. Uh, no, you're not supposed to have sex during the day. We're like vampires. Can you jail? Oh, that's a bit of a not during the day. You can't oh. come during the day. So this. Is oh, you can fucking... edge though all day. You can edge all day. So you can get your dick wet. You just can't bust. You can't get it wet in a pussy. Could you chew food you and get it wet in your you own chew hand? Food and spit it out. No. Okay. I mean, you you sound like me talking to my mom, <laughs> <laughs> asking for all the loopholes. Mom, I have a friend who is wondering. Um, hey, mom, uh, does it? Can break he my... <laughs> fuck but not bust? Hey, mom, does it break my fast if I have sex with a dude? <laughs> hey, mom, I'm not. Gay, but I don't so come. It doesn't matter. No, because I'm not gay. Right, and I didn't right. come anyway. Exactly. So or can it. I fuck a foot? I don't think fucking a foot is cheating. Do you? For pussy? If if you fucked a foot, would you consider it cheating? If you fucked someone's foot, like in between would the toes, would my wife consider it cheating or would I? Would both? Let's do both. Uh, who's foot pussy? Is it, is it on my foot pussy hall pass list? No, it's got to be a woman. It's a, a woman's foot. Uh, it's got to be a woman of color. Well, my foot pussy hall it's pass list be a woman is Olivia color. Wilde. So he doesn't know any. <laughs> know any women of color? <laughs> oh, and women too. Olivia Wilde. Okay, so let's say Olivia Wilde said you could put Vaseline in. Olivia in Wilde and out, right? Yeah, she's on that show. She's a black comedian. <laughs> Uh, he's I think it, no, I think it would be cheating to answer your question. Yes, I think my wife oh. would be disappointed that I came on a woman's arch. Yeah. What if you didn't come on it? What if you came on yeah, your belly? Because it's, it's Ramadan. <laughs> no, it's Ramadan. You need to come. So they're like, what is? So I'm laying on my back, and I'm getting wait. See, fucked, that's weird. Like, that you're, oh, see, you're too. Whoa. Well, you said come on my belly. Yeah, but there's like other ways to come on your belly. No, I but thinking, if I'm fucking a foot, how am I coming on my belly? You go like this, and then right before you come, you fucking fall back and. Okay. Have you ever hit the face? No, hit the face purposely. With, no, your own face. Like, have you ever just tried to get so much power behind horsepower behind mm-hmm. the cum that it fucking blasts? But, <laughs> so friendly face. fire. Yeah. If I did, I pat Tillman myself. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't think of a time that I ever like got on the chin. What about you? You feel like you're building up to a story of here. Course, this, is the, this is the sequel to uh, the wall, baby. This is the sequel to Out of Order. <laughs> <laughs> just the Pat a Tillman, the, the whole movie about a guy trying to bust on his face. The Pat Trillman story. <laughs> it's a short film. It's about thirty-five seconds it's long. Yeah. Fourteen seconds. It's a vine. Yeah. Oh man, where just were we? Me busting ropes. We're on the um, ridiculous vibe. Oh, Listen. okay. We're on the music portion, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do an album. I was gonna. It started as it was called Ten Minute Album, and it was gonna be ten one minute songs. Fire. Didn't someone do that? No, I haven't uh, googled uh, it. Mate, an you? established <laughs> R&B singer did that recently and it was very critically acclaimed. Lil Boosie? No. The mm-hmm. problem is everything's been done, which is why I don't Google it. Yeah. Because yeah. I had that idea on my own. It's like, oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me Google dick butt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so I got to call a 20 minute album. This is why you didn't. we're not familiar with any Halloween songs. You're like, there's no Halloween songs. I'm there legitimately serious. I yeah. do not Google before I <laughs> create because there's always a fucking thing that has preceded. Yeah, and then my idea sucks because I'm like oh, someone already. I had love that to idea. just clip that. I never Google before I create. <laughs> the, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Dude, do I come off? He's as the brown guys? Gary V. <laughs> oh my fuck! Well, even if you're not googling, even if you're not googling, you still see. I'm like the f- white Gary V. <laughs> <laughs> even if you're not googling shit before you create, you still seem like a guy with his finger on the pulse, right? So as we get into summer 2022, the horniest season, summer. What are some just general red flags? people mm. should be looking out for like in the world no okay what should some what <laughs> are some pox? red flags <laughs> monkey pox monkey no, pox not, that's it, a red flag if a girl has sores on her hands yeah. the fellas should uh maybe turn around if your girl is foaming at the mouth oh we're talking about hoes yeah, hoes. yeah. this is well, ho- this is the ho talk portion or are we talking about like everything uh, uh we're talking about what red flags of women should dudes look out for yeah for oh, pri- okay. primarily, primarily male audience primarily or cis, as a walking hetero. red flag you could describe yourself <laughs> for I am wearing, one female listener. i am wearing fucking pajamas um <laughs> it's very chic sex criminal 
Uh, who's it? Have you Googled? <laughs> Chic sex criminal? Have you Googled? Yeah, she's Maxwell. Have you Googled my name? As a sex profile. What? Just get, no, no, I'm just oh. kidding. Um, okay, so red flags. So me looking at women saying that's a red flag. Yeah, for the audience at home. Yeah. Okay. Like a, I'll, I'll like big bro them a bit. If she calls her father by his first name. Okay. Oh. Major. Yeah, that's red flag. Interesting. Really? What are, the, what are the implications there? Well, that that's not a good relationship. Mm-hmm. But the pro is that she's rich. Okay. So there's a con, which is that she hates her so dad. So you got to make a if decision. She hates her, yeah, but women that hate their dads usually have that gorilla grippy gooey. No, she's, yeah, but she's going to say, I hate all men, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But, I'm out. Yeah. It, it depends on if you're Don't for, let my gorilla goop confuse you. I <laughs> yeah. hate all men. Well, gorilla goop is good for a, a summer fling, but it's not good for your mental health. Right. Not good for long term. Like it ruins you, saw, you for all it destroys. subsequent. Her, her grippy, her grippy might look like that orangutan snapping that guy's leg in half in the cage, but. Pff, and you know what? I like that, that gorilla grill. I like that fucking aliens type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh-huh. make it look like the monster from Stranger in space. Things. Nobody can hear you cream type shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> like just give me the most. You want it. To, it's a black hole. I dude. want the most interesting labia. Yeah. You want it to look like Harvey Weinstein's double chin. <laughs> All right, so that's a red flag. So that's a red flag. Um, when was it for dad is Harvey Weinstein? Red flag. I would say that's a red flag for sure. Harvey. Yeah. Okay. But what about the brother? Bob? Bobby? Bob Wine? He, uh, I don't know. Seem like was he guy. complicit? In the he dis- sex okay, he crimes? Dis- he disowned him and he, cl- he claims ignorance, but like there's no way that he didn't fucking know because Harvey was like paying millions of dollars yeah. to, for women's he, silence. He was out of the company, raping. Out of the company's that, war chest. Yeah. And He'd be probably, raping. He was probably watching the tapes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jerking off to his brother. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at that point, when you're that rich, like it is definitely only weird shit that can make you bust at that point. So bust I mean, not hiring yeah. Olivia Wilde to um, just give her your foot arch. Another red Yo, flag. Chill. She's listening. True. Oh, God. She's never coming on. I know. Delete all references. Okay. And then I'll invite her. If you told me right now that we could delete this episode and it guaranteed <laughs> that Olivia Wilde would come on. Let's just say in the next two years, no brainer. I yeah. think it's possible. No I one really will ever hear your voice. She has kids, so I don't know like how she probably got nannies and stuff. Yo, you saw her in the nice for what video. Amazing dancer. True. She's just natural. OC, dog. She's just good part of limbs, OC. dude. She's smart. She's beautiful inside and She's out. She's everything we want. In she take us fucking blew it, dog. You know, here's following up on that. Olivia Wilde would never dye her hair a weird color. And so that's a red flag. Oh, uh, what? Like, she's perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course. So like, perfect woman. if your girl's well, got you know, how, you know, how, you know, perp. she's good is that she uh, she fucking got rid of Ted Lasso. Mm-hmm. The worst fucking show of the last century. Of the I 100 yeah. percent agree. Uh, more like Ted Loser. You more love like, Ted Lasso. Shut the fuck up. I don't love Ted. Lasso. You love Ted. Lasso. I liked the first season. No, you, were, you were on <laughs> Ted Lasso. <laughs> and I thought the show went downhill. The Ted Lasso dick riding be crazy. It you went voted for Ted Lasso the in the fifties. That fucking chump showed up on screen. That shit yeah, bro. sucked. Shit sucked. Ass. I couldn't I'm not argue with it. Everyone's like, everyone wants to watch a nice guy on TV. I'm like, no, we don't. No. Seinfeld was, reruns every day. It was Hallmark. It was Hallmark for jocks. It was dumb. Um, I hope I to job. never. Can see you talk about the first date, the worst first date you've ever been on, or do you have any more red flags? Are we done with well, that? Well, the, the colored hair, I'm out. Yeah, purple hair, blue what hair. About like b- women that just like bleach their hair blonde. I think that's fine. Okay, but I'm you're talking about like that. like color, like blue, pink, green, purple. I disagree yeah. with you there. This ain't fucking alternative press. <laughs> <laughs> New York City, baby. Hard disagree. <laughs> Hard disagree. But what's, what's the worst first? This ain't CBGB. This is John Varvatos, dude. Get uh, it right. Worst first date. Mm. What's it when you met your the first date with your wife, which you ended up being, <sighs> no, which ended see, up being your ex wife? I have a. Th- I'm a big first date guy, so I really do. I do a lot. I'm just trying to think. You, do, a, you just continuously, but go not on a, first but dates. not a lot of second. Dates. I'm like, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's go to Storm King. Like really? Wow, bro! I'm in like the rover? Invested. How long? Of a, that's a big Wait, trip to just take with the person. Back in the day, the accurate days, I would still do it. That's like a seven-hour ordeal. I know. Yeah, that's crazy. what if in hour one you realize if that this is kidnapping. A huge, if she's really hot and like cool. I'm in. But what if in hour one you realize this is a terrible mistake? You just that ride it out. Happened. You just ride it out. That she's still happened. hot in that scenario. Maybe that she's not happened. as cool as you. I, ha- so I have hot. a more of like a not a worst first date, but like the wor- the saddest saga of all time. Go, Go on, King. So I first moved to New York. This is how you know this is a very sad story. And I live with this Craigslist guy who has a mattress on the floor covered in hair. That, that's what I sleep on. Is he a pro skater? No, he was like a little Wait, weird. Whose hair, whose hair was covering the His mattress? Hair. He like moved mattresses. He like left me a twin Ew. mattress on the floor. And then he was like in Singapore or something. Anyways, he came back. And I'm like, hey, I don't know anyone in the city. Who should I know? He's like, oh, look at this girl. And he like showed me this Instagram account of this beautiful woman. 
something I'd never seen before. Okay. Because I came from Minnesota, Minnesota, the land of right. Ludafisk. And like, uh, you know, a bunch of corn fed hoes, corn fed yeah, hoes, just square milk, heads, big milkies, <laughs> Jimmy, big, big mommy milkers, big mommy Jimmy milk. Neutron forehead motherfuckers. Seriously. Yeah. Just inventing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Shout out to all my Minnesota hoes. Probably the most misogynistic episode we've had in a while, but OK. Oh, fuck. No, shout out to Big Natural. Is that dog. my fault? No, it's no, more fault. It's, and well, okay. so he's like, follow this girl on Instagram. I'm like, do you know her? He's like, no. I was like, kind of creepy, but we'll follow. Anyways, I'm like obsessed with this girl looking at her Instagram all the time. This is my first month in New York. And then what year was this? 2012. Okay. And then I'm on the L train coming from Brooklyn into Manhattan. I see Tabby her. Cotton. I see her on the train. Was she popping on IG or was she like a civilian? 2,000 followers. Civilian. Okay. And I go, well, shoot my shot. And I was like, hey, what's up? I'm Kareem. I think we follow each other on Instagram. Oh, she, she followed you follow back. back. She did the follow back. Of course. And then she's like, oh, what's up? Nice to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. Did she deliver in person? Like, was the crush uh, vindicated by her? like she? Excellent okay. smile. Beautiful. Everything about her was perfect. And I'm in my mind. I'm like, I'm getting What did she call her right. father? <laughs> daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, in lo- you were smitten and you were. Okay. I was in. Yeah. And then I go to the fucking boom, boom room. <laughs> and I, it's the early New York. No, days, no, right? that's I get it. And I see her there. And I'm like, let's hang out. Wait, what happened on the train, though? You just got a number? I, I got the number, but okay. then we didn't text her, whatever. And then I see her at the Boom Boom Room. We hug. Let's hang out. Blah, blah, blah. And then it turns into this, like, one week, two week whirlwind romance. Okay. And then I go to Puerto Rico. And she goes to, like, the Dominican Republic or something. Same week. Different <laughs> friends. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'm going to Airbnb at my apartment. Can I stay with you when I come back for, like, one night? You guys had already slept together and everything? Yeah. We did the Storm King date. I'm, I'm fast forwarding because this story is like there's a lot of intricacies, but I did take her to Storm King. Does taking her to Storm King like gar- effectively guarantee sex? Yeah. Okay. And also like Smash King. It, more of a relationship. <laughs> more of a relationship. It guarantees a relationship. Right. Which is what I was looking this for. This guy's a car. This guy likes art. Yeah. So, like, this guy's so worldly. You can hang out for four yeah. hours. <laughs> Fat then, Mo Salah rules. I don't know why the, I don't know why the guy at the ticket box uh, knows him by his first name, but hey, yeah. here we are. Right. <laughs> it's because I'm fucking famous. Uh, and then I, <laughs> and then I come. Anyway, Not in I, 2012, doggy. I come back and I'm like, hey, we were texting the whole time. Blah blah blah. I come back. I knock on her door. I have my suitcase. It's raining. And I'm like, hey, what's up? Like oh, I'm here to too? sleep over. And she's like, I'm in love with my ex boyfriend. And you can't sleep over. And then I stood in the rain and I cried a little bit. Had your air? Had your apartment been confirmed Airbnb by? Yeah, I was homeless. Where'd you sleep? I slept, I slept at the, my friend's house and I was like crying. I was really sad. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a movie. Like it you're was, in the rain with the suitcase. You were rejected in the rain. Called my mom. It was like, like Andrew Garfield. Strung up. And she said, this is why I tell you, don't be fucking around with those white women. Oh, yeah. she wasn't even white. <laughs> oh, no. No, Kareem. She wasn't even white. She was Damn. South America. Oh, ooh. I know. Very. She uh, do you still follow each other on Instagram? I think she follows me. I don't follow her though. Fuck Fire. And she ended up marrying that boy. Oh, oh, amazing, beautiful. Yeah. So it's like no hard feelings. Yeah. And you know Sorry what? For the long story. No, yeah, that was great. Happily ever after, because you are currently booed up. But that being said, who is on your forever hall pass list? Besides is is Wilde. this woman, the South American woman, on your hall pass list? No. Your hall pass list can't be people you've already slept with. I feel like that's not. No, that's not, not on hall is. pass. They can't be. Well, that was what with that video that exactly. went viral. That girl was like, "It's my ex boyfriend," and that she yeah. embarrassed her current boyfriend. You saw that right outside the Yankees game. It's no, like the worst down bad. The Yankees, ever. Yankees Stadium is just the new like site for like going viral. It's like, <laughs> well, it's, you <laughs> suck on a, a beer glizzy or you uh, right. get just destroyed. By well, it's like the girlfriend. side talkification of viral videos. People right. like, oh, we'll just like New Yorkers because of Nico because the side talk. It's like you should anyway. uh, set up the pot out there. <laughs> on the street. On oh, the go street. mobile man on the street. Go shit. Mobile man on the street. No, just sit at the with table. the creatures. Sit at the t- Fuck no. Yeah. The bleacher creatures. Um, okay. All right. So hall pass list. Kareem, go. Uh, Julia Roberts. Ooh. Oh, okay. Cindy Crawford. Okay. Smacking. Um, Two great picks. I think those are like my tops. From the archives. Really? Yeah. And you want you want Julia Roberts right now or do you want an era specific? I'm obsessed like Aaron with Brockovich Julia. Or? I'm obsessed with Julia Roberts. She's so Currently. talented. She's so fucking beautiful. She's yeah. a big old fucking smile. <laughs> I'm she, does have, she does have some t- some uh, fucking teeth. She does have some Tony Robbins teeth, <laughs> and then she's got she's got, she got wo- the DSTs. Yeah, she's a, she's got a wood chipper. Oh, and those. I, I mean, yeah, I oh, you know God. she can eat an apple through a chain link fence. Oh, she's she is the poor man Cindy Crawford, mm. which is why Cindy Crawford's also on the list. 
Yeah. Who else? You got two. Disrespectful to Julia Roberts, or is that like literally no, supporting like, Cindy Crawford to the nth degree? Well, both are just amazing in their own ways. Like Cindy Crawford is a supermodel, and Julia Roberts is like girl next door. Super actress. Super actress. Amazing actress. Yeah. Beautiful woman. Beautiful okay, mind. so those She's are your beautiful two. Mind. That's two. That's two. Yeah, I think those are my two. Damn. All right, right those now. are good answers. I was not expecting. How many do you guys have? Mm, I think mine's just Rihanna. I don't really know. Damn, Rihanna is, know. A, is a classic. Oh, that's that's crazy because we would be uh, Eskimo Bros then. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn, we walked right into that one, dog. <laughs> ASAP, if you're listening, I'm just kidding, dog. <laughs> to, to, to go off of you, because I could play this game forever because <laughs> misogynistic. Yeah, okay, more like a feminist. I love women, dude. Um, I'm going to go, because we talked about this recently with the guests. I'm going Julianne Moore. Vera Farmiga, Susan Sarandon. I want like we're going to find wine status. I'm hoping that Susan Sarandon young. <laughs> Dude, she looks amazing right now. And she dates young men. Wait, you're saying she. OK. Oh, wow. So you're saying she looks like dog shit. I'm not. I think Saudi Sarandon is a beautiful woman. I just don't know if I would want to hit right now. <laughs> you would pass it up? I think so. Sheesh. A hundred. Damn, he goes viral on TikTok one time and he fucking, he's a master of the universe. Susan, uh, do you want to be my plus one for Tribeca? <laughs> this is a great uh, Barstool Sports Podcast <laughs> yeah. episode here. But, um, yeah, I'm so sorry I brought this We're energy. Back, no, no, no. Baby. Lawrence, oh, my God. Lawrence has only been with one woman in the last 15 years. So at any opportunity, he's turned into a fucking dog. <laughs> 15. Cut, cut me some slack, dog. My worst 10? fear that was that I would turn this into a Barstool Sports Podcast. No, you you, we brought that on you. I don't even like some of us brought that on you. You asked the hall pass question. I was just part- this is your question that you wanted on. You're like, yo, I want this on every uh, <laughs> running show going forward. Who's to say? <laughs> Who's to say? I want to ask another list that isn't about fucking titties. Maybe it is though. Who's on your comedian as a, as a comedian yourself? Who's on your comedian Mount Rushmore? Like that? I they, um top four all time unranked. Robin Williams. Okay. Jerry Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Chris Rock. Them. Oh, mm-hmm. R.I.P. Three. Yeah. Mm. Andy Kaufman. The goat. Mm. Interesting. No women. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to ask you, just strictly as a comedian, are women funny? No. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on the record. Hey, clip it out. <laughs> but also make sure I say, just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, women are very funny. It's just like, they, 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 Robin Williams reminds me of my dad. He's dead. Sympathy points. Mm-hmm. Uh, Your dad was a hairy uncle. Irish motherfucker. He was hairy. He was like he, a, he's a hairy coke addict. Yeah. My dad just looks like Robin Williams, which is very weird. Really? Yeah. The huh. Egyptian Robin, but Williams. like a little darker, but hazel eyes, hairy chest, <laughs> hairy hands. Did your dad wear like, like also like? Did he yeah. wear like Bape and Isimayake? No. Did Robin Williams? Yeah, he's a big drip lord. Solomon Arcteryx Bape. He was fucking in it, bro. Fuck, I didn't know yeah. that. I've seen the photos of him like on the red carpet. But I haven't seen these like Adam wearing Sandler fucking Jean Paul Gaultier or whatever. Gang that was it. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the birdcage? Like that was like Jean kind of, Paul yeah, Gang. Birdcage is a fucking. He's yeah. so. so I miss that. him. I cry on his birthday oftentimes. Really? Yeah. When, is it, when is that? When's his birthday? Know. Whenever it comes up on Twitter. Capper. Instagram. Whenever it comes ass. up on Twitter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whenever the Zood board. Don't ask fucking. me the fucking <laughs> what's your favorite song band shirt oh, question. Right, right, come right. on. I don't know his fucking Yeah, name three. Your favorite comedian, name three bits, bro. Name three times he was canceled. Why are you the only comedian without a podcast? Yeah, come on, bro. I, you're good at it, by the way. You Thank you. I founded really a that. podcast production company, but you don't have a podcast yourself. Yeah, I don't. I will have one. I'm like I said. Well, it's gonna be then you're late. But I like to think the big vision. Okay. I like to think intellectual property. I like True to think crime format mm. formats. Okay. So. I think that there are a lot like you guys were early. So you have an audience. Sure. Very difficult to do that now because everyone's already listening. Saturated market, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but you're not white. <laughs> True. You're not a white man. You got that going for you. Do I have something to bring to the table other than not, not whiteness? Being white? <laughs> no, uh, no, you don't. Not but really. Just, but that's all you need. We're honestly, all hanging out days. being white. We're all hanging out being you white. You guys just start this. a podcast. Just talk about older women you want to fuck. This is a white podcast. That's just, sure. uh, older women we want to fuck like <laughs> yeah. uh, dudes we fucked that yeah. show. That's whatever. actually a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that with you. I can do more. Podcasts. So I will have a podcast coming out. Okay. That is more format based. So it has sound design. It Got has it. like a whole shtick sh- around it because the idea is that then we develop into a t- TV show. Uh, again, thinking long term. Thinking long term. Like true crime. Yeah. Why do you guys keep saying true crime? True crime. <laughs> Who true crime. shit my pants? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like drunk history is a good reference for what I want to do on the on a pod. Okay, is that a show now? I don't know. Right. Drunk history is a TV show. Yeah, it's it was a, never Comedy Central. I yeah. think Pally. Oh, okay. I think Pally. they had 15, oh, 15 freaking seasons. Mm. Fifteen <laughs> seasons. No Fifteen way. freaking seasons. No, yeah. You're thinking of fucking Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Kareem, look, you do have um, <laughs> vision. You have had success in multiple arenas, right? And you kind of are this like hustlepreneur, uh, to use an outdated term that you, the white Gary V, uh, does like to use. So much you've been, you've proved to be so successful in so many different arenas that uh, you recently gave the commencement speech at your alma mater's graduation, right? What was the best piece of advice you think that you gave during that speech? That they should have fucking gotten the guy that invented the Honeycrisp apple. Ooh. The best apple of all time. Uh, Come on. Don't uh, tell me. Oh, my God. First of all, I would say apples are overrated off rip. I'd much rather have almost I agree any with other, that for a sure. lot of other fruits. Unless first and dipped foremost. in some sort of nut butter. No, that's not mm. worth it. Mm. We're talking about just strictly just straight. No fucking, you know, apples Stress. Apples as an ingredient, though, underrated. Apple is not a good fruit. It's It's fine. But my point is that the guy that invented the Honey Crisp apple, he went to your he cooked it up in a lab. He was in the lab. Yeah. You didn't know that? Honey Crisp apple? I don't apple? know. I mean, but, he, but it was at your college's yeah, lab. In is that guy alive? Yeah. They should have invited him. Anyways, uh, and, they didn't. They invited you. Yeah. They invited, apples and oranges. They invited a <laughs> comedian with under nice. 50,000 Instagram followers. Did you bomb or did you crush? No, I fucking ripped. Oh, I killed okay. 7,000 people. Did you get laid afterwards? Two shows. I was calling yeah. the shows. No, but I was getting DMs on stage. Really? It was pretty funny. <laughs> you were like, you're not, like, oh, excuse me, guys, hold on one second. <laughs> no, because I had to sit. Like, yo, I you, had to sit it yo, while they so gave hot the diplomas that- out. Oh, so I was bro, up there for God. two hours, and MS like, was get some sliding <laughs> in with selfies, like meet us at the bar afterwards, and I was like, Ha-ha. did you go to the bar? Absolutely not. What's your alma mater? Uh, the University of Minnesota. Gotcha. College. Of go Gophers. 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 Yeah, go. Gophers. What's the harder crowd? Uh, like a college boat, cla- graduating class or a comedy club? Comedy club. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Were you getting heckled during the commencement speech? <laughs> no. But I got, I did the first ever commencement karaoke where I legitimately did get 7,000 people to sing John Bon Jovi, uh, It's My Life. Those Gen Not- Z motherfuckers know that song? Parents. That wow. was the key. Mm. I said, Parents, it's the last time to embarrass your children. <laughs> Let's one. fuck this up. And I fucking say, took out my iPhone. No, but I did it at least once in the speech. Really? And I took out my iPhone and I went like this. And I said, it's my life. It's, it's now or never. Damn, so many uh, live possible forever. outro songs. If we weren't debuting meticulous vibes. Boom. The whole audience was singing it. Yeah. Was like, mm, mm. Even the kids, even the kiddos. Yeah, the kids got the young it. chaps. And but real piece, of, real, real piece of advice. There yeah. are no rules and no one knows what the fuck they're doing. So Very as long true. as you know that, you can also be the same. Very true. You'd be the same. Wow. Well, speaking, so fucking true really makes you think, bro. I speaking of a time. I'm being completely sarcastic. <laughs> speaking of a time, you had no idea what you were doing, Kareem. <laughs> Sorry. That's cool. Speaking of a time, you had no idea what you were doing, Kareem. You were once the global marketing lead at Vice Media, right? Let's assume that Shane Smith, the NDAs have run out. His fucking sexual harassment assassinations are... Assassins are no longer, you know, sniping you out the window. What was the most fucked up shit you saw happen? Advice. Um, those were the Coke days. Ooh, go on. And fuck, man. It was my first job. Like I said, just moved to New York one month in. And I'm like, this is fucking insane. Like this rocks. Yeah, like this rocks. I'm also scared. How good was the Coke? Who's Chief Keef? <laughs> what? <laughs> and what is and what is Mishka? And what is happening? Oh, like the eyeball? And why is everyone caps? skateboarding to work? This is Culture fucked. shock. I was really, really scared. Was this like the North 10th office? Yeah. Okay. Like the one, and the one before they took over the beacons. Right. So it was just like this shit hole. Shout out Donald Trump. <laughs> shit yeah. hole office. Um, and I remember one holiday party. Instead of bonuses. We legitimately got Coke. That really? fucking rules. Bags of Coke. That's, really That's funny. Hand it out like like to individuals that wanted it. It was just like for that for the holiday party. Right, right. Which right. was at um what's the Polish kind of big Warsaw? Yeah, it's right yeah. here. It's literally yeah. right up the street. Wait, so did you were there people that like actually can I please have some money? Yeah. I think at the time we were all just happy to have the Coke. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was, was like, a different was, time. It was like 25. It was 125 year old people. It was the Obama era. Yeah. yeah it Coke was the, in this economy. The, yeah. It was the era of prosperity for, uh, sure. uh, for us people of color uh, in media. <laughs> and, and I was like, in I'll take media. it. Yeah. And I was like, this is so fucking dangerous. Was the Coke good? Yeah, it was good. It was from beeps guy. Got it. Sure. Totally. Uh, <laughs> and then, <Damn> it. <laughs> and then another time it was, it was a proud boy. Very. Fucked. Yeah. Oh no, not that beep. Not. 
not wrong, wrong beep. The wrong beep. I, I'm just trying not to get not sued. Not Gavin McBeep. The other beepus. Mm. The uh, beep <laughs> Smith. The one I made. <laughs> And it was sick, dude. Oh, you know, I, yeah, I, his guy must have been fucking El Chapo, his, bro. Yeah, his guy was fucking good. It was, and everyone was doing it. it was so sick. And then another really fucked up thing happened was that I arm wrestled this kid, and <laughs> I go, okay. and I broke his fucking arm. Wow! At the Christmas party, over the top, baby. Coke strength. Literally had to go to the hospital with him. Why did you have to go? Because I'm a good friend. Yeah, he's my because he was overdosed. And you're the cocaine. global. You're the global marketing lead. <laughs> he's my desk mate. He's right next to me. Okay, so I had to go. And then oh, on bro. his deathbed, he died. No, <laughs> but it from a broken. Like oh, fibula? also new to the city. Hey, what hospital do I take this guy to? My friend Mike Jones goes. Who? I knew. I was waiting for it. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> my friend Michael Jones, Manhattan boy from Upper West Side. He goes. Oh, I know him. You do? Yeah, he's the I know fucking Mike Jones. best. Yeah. he's really the best. Yeah, yeah, you Mike know Jones. what's his number? He's boys with um, he's boys with Bernie's. Yeah, he is boys. Oh, with really? Bernie's. Yeah. Yes, he's he's the best. Michael Bernie. Jones. Michael Mike Jones. Jones. I don't make the joke. He's a, you made the he joke. was a small white boy named Mike Jones. Mm-hmm. Fire. He still is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like Woody, Woody Allen. Uh, cool version. <laughs> he does. <laughs> All right, know? I haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. Look, so he broke like his a, arm. No, no, no. Mike Jones. I broke this other guy's arm. Mike <laughs> okay. Jones, Upper West Side. First, like friend from New York, sure. I go, yo, where do I take this guy? He goes, don't take him to Woodhall. Immediately That's take him to Woodhall. Sure. People are in there with gunshots, I, and then on the deathbed, this guy looks at me, very He's Godfather, your deskmate. deskmate. Mm-hmm. On he looks at me, Godfather, and he goes, it's all because I was sleeping with X Y Z, and X Y Z happens to be my X Y my X X Y Z. So he, karma. Oh, he's like, I deserve this because I was sleeping with your ex boo, ex boo, desk mate. Wow. Which treacherous. You yeah. were, you had broken up with ex boo before the arm breaking. Yeah. yeah. So then everyone thought that I did it. Oh, because. Hey, I see. Which I didn't even know. Did you, you then were break, the last to know. Do you then the break his other arm? Yeah. I didn't. I actually. Or even. I yeah. went ho- to his home. I put a sock on down. his feet. I tucked him in. And and I beat sells, the shit out. I said, "See that work?" And I, came, and I came on his face. <laughs> I smothered him with a pillow. And guess what? They're fucking married too. Oh, wow! Man. I'm like the guy. I said, "Your shit good up. luck, Chuck." Or whatever the, the fucking movie is. I'm with, the last man standing. Did you break his arm because you're so yet up? You think? <laughs> no. At the time, I had an obsession with working out uh, simply because I wanted to be able to beat people in arm wrestling at bars and break their arms. Wait, no, I didn't want to break their arms. I just wanted to win drinks. Okay. I was like, this will be a good way to like. It's a good hustle. You know, I like seen. I was like, I was like, oh, I challenge I'll anyone to a bar for a drink. Mm, boom. Yeah. And then, you know, if we want to go to yeah. Bernie's right now, let me spend two hundred dollars on Equinox monthly yeah, so I can I, get a free beer. What were the economics on this? Dude? I was at Equinox. <laughs> I was at Equinox. Getting Equinox. jerked off in the Fucking steam room. Yeah. Prince Street. Equinox. Getting ran through. Turned out that shit was sick. Yeah. Now, uh, like, how many times did you pull out that party trick to get free drinks at bars? Well, I retired after after you broke the dude. So wait, you were that strong? I was. I mean, you, fucking, look, you look like a strong guy. No, I'm just fat and big right mm. now, but I was yoked up. I had pecs. How weak was this motherfucker? Yeah. That's what my mom said. She said he must have weak arms. Not drinking his milk. He needs no some calcium. milk. Yeah. So my, I go, Mom, I just broke a guy's arm. She goes, He must have weak arms. <laughs> 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 like, perfect mom thing. Like, yeah. not going to blame it on me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also co found, after breaking arms and doing drugs on the company Dime, you co founded a podcast studio, right? The Stoop. And you do a bunch of brand and content consulting. So real quick, just how would you assess the only podcast that matters? Just off rip. Give us your fucking, yeah. fucking first impressions. 10 out of 10 fucking Topo Chico's 700 Diet Cokes. I would be on it any day of the week. You guys are like the Barbara Walters and Dan Rather of millennials. Wow. I'm fucking wow. in. Okay, yeah. that was good. We should have you uh, represent us in some of these pitch meetings. That was yeah, me exactly. cosplaying as James mm, yeah. when he does the intro. Yeah. Nice, dude. Killed it. Is that well, pretty good? Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Uh, Barbara Walters, perfect segue into the next segment of the podcast, which is... Would you fuck Barbara Walters? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Would you fuck Barbara Walters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. What about young Barbara? Yes. Is humor, <laughs> is humor truly the biggest aphrodisiac? Like, if you're not hot, if you're not rich, can you use humor to get some tang? I would say based on current, uh, the current marketplace. Yeah. Smart and funny is better than hot. And just more normal. people are hot than smart and funny. Right. No, like hoes. And I say this endearingly. Mm-hmm. Hoes like Sluts. a funny, schlubby, silly man. Even when they don't have a boat. 
yeah, I don't have a fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> And I have a hot girlfriend. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, it's a new thing. Do you think there's more hot? Are you, do you think there's more hot people in New York than smart and funny people in New York? Yes. So then there you go. Yeah. You want to? You're rarer. No, but I also think if that it's you like, are smart. And when fun. you were young, like when I was young, I thought being funny meant being stupid, and it mm. didn't mean being smart. And I also thought that girls didn't like nice guys, so I would go into like class and I'd just be strong, silent type. Gotcha. Didn't yeah. work. But like classic archetype in third grade. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a strong sound. There was a strong. You didn't have a strong sound type guy in, in third your, grade. Uh, th- maybe you're just the weird. Guy. Some of the kids. Yeah, special, 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 special ed, maybe. <laughs> yeah, school shooter vibes. The weird yeah. kid. No, Pete Davidson and and them have. Uh, Adam Sandler is the hottest guy. Wait, were you about to give Pete Davidson credit for pussy that you get? He's he's paving the way. Yeah, he's really? Here. He's, he's paving your, the way. He's, he's your Rosa Parks. He has the hottest, richest woman in the world. Yeah, and he's just. I mean, also his his ex girlfriends are even. I know he did. Like he Kate Beckinsale, well, he Sale. worked at like hall pass list. He worked God it. Damn, he worked it. Yeah, he anyway, did it Pete right Davidson way. is your Rosa Parks for getting ass. Yes, he <laughs> he he walked so we could run. Walked um, so you could come early. So you could and, top. And right Get now, was, uh, <laughs> the hottest man in the world for Gen Zs is Adam Sandler. If you, if you is Google, that real though? If you Google it, it's like <laughs> that. Yeah, according to a one high snob headline, if you yeah. or whatever, it. yeah. yeah. Oh, everyone thinks when I say Jugal, it's not. What do you think it is? What, what? is it? I, I call it Jugal. Because what? Jews control but, the media. No, but not for that reason. Oh, I just think no. it's fun to say Jugal. But that Jugal. is true. Yeah, but, but it's <laughs> it works because Jews control the media. <laughs> yeah. I can say that as a Jew controlling the media right now. Yeah. Hey, you're entitled well. to your own opinion. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not really an opinion if it's facts, bro. <laughs> Here's an opinion. How much money do you make? Uh, I do pretty well right now. Yeah? Yeah. What's your biggest revenue stream right now? Uh, I do like a lot of producing in ideas guy shit. Yeah. But like in the secret, like I'm not like, Hey, this is my consulting company. Right. 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 But I do a lot of consulting, secret consulting, which is not a secret anymore. But who's your biggest brand? What's the best brand you consult for? I don't, I don't want to say it. Okay. They're good ones. They're, you, they're, they're, they're is it Google? Really good ones. Yeah. Was it's it Google? Google? It's just like, <laughs> Come on, guys. You've got to adapt Google. You're like, rebrand. Uh, no, it's actually findamuslimhusband.com. <laughs> runners, runnersareus.org. <laughs> when you walk uh, into these rooms with these big brands that will go unnamed besides Jugal, are people like, oh, shit, it's Kareem? Does that happen? Is, it's is Kareem. That, is, does that help you get? Does that help with biz dev or are you, they have no idea? It happens sometime and the biz dev oftentimes comes from a show. Because a lot of it is like comedy consulting or comedy producing. And people okay. are like a brand will be like, we want to figure out how to like reach out to yeah. comedians. And you're like, all right, step number one, yeah. get rid of all the women because they're not funny. <laughs> you're like, per, per what you said earlier, you need, you need a lizard. Your, don't change your logo to a, to a rainbow flag right. during this month. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the that's, Ubers I mean, are that's, gay. That's the biggest revenue stream. Swag, dude. It is. It's a little swag. What do you like to spend your hard-earned money on? My apartment. Yeah. You got a sick setup. Got a nice little apartment. Changed during the pandemic. I became. I moved out from the divorce house. Mm. Oh, uh, right, totally. Wait, did you guys get divorced? Be like did the pandemic accelerate where? Th- yeah, is one yeah, of those. yeah. Damn, bro. Yep. Fuck. So, what are you spending money on? Like furniture, like nice furniture, yeah. nice art. Right now, I'm spending on fucking yeah furniture. It's the first time I've ever like been like, what am I gonna buy? Oh, you have like, you'd be like, money's burning a hole in your pocket. I'm, no, 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 no. You're like, juggling no. brands that are like Ikea. I'm trying not, yeah, I'm trying not to buy rich guy Ikea. White Wayfair and Ikea. Mm. You know, I'm trying Good to luck, like, buddy. I'm trying so hard. I bought this fucking nightstand from the MoMA design store. It was 200 bucks and it's far too small. <laughs> so yeah. now I don't know what to do with it. It's just basically a stool now. It's a little stool, but I don't think you can sit on it because it's like glass or something. Okay. Well. You can find a use for it, I'm sure. When you're buying furniture, oh, so here's a tip you probably wouldn't know. But when you're buying furniture, you should look at the dimensions. <laughs> How big? <laughs> see what the size of things Damn, are. Yeah, man, that is a really, really. You just go over your crib, you got like little ass lawn chairs <laughs> and fucking. Measuring tapes are. I don't know why I acted that out for the That's for such us, a good piece of advice. Measuring yeah, tapes dude. have other uses besides measuring your small. Well, I jugled it. I jugled yeah. it, so. Um, Kareem. <laughs> We want to thank you for coming on to the only podcast. This was a banger, dude. For an I'm hour glad. 48. I'm happy that you begged so many times to come on because like you killed it, bro. I will say for me, this is a New York rite of passage. Hold on. You didn't, you didn't, I mean, you didn't beg. Hold on. No, hold no, on, hold I on, really on. think so. I'm you not did, kidding. You did not beg to come on this a lot episode. of value on this. And I a really lot, appreciate no, it. People came to us and they're like, hey, you should have come yes, on. Yes, you have a lot of people advocating on, beha- on your behalf. That's really nice. And which is really most flattering. Yeah, just Bryn. Again, Bryn, that other time. You guys could have asked for references. I would have given you good ones. 
Yes, you, yes. <laughs> you should. That Next is time. fucking no, funny, it's like, dude. How, it's like Raya. Yeah. For pods. I've That's... been like, uh, John Caramonica. He likes <laughs> me. He thinks I'm funny. He's been he, oh, wait, I can't say. Never mind. What? I'll tell you off pod. I'll okay. tell you off pod. I'm, I'm um, waiting with beta breasts. Anyway. Look, we do want to thank you for coming on. Long time podcast. I love you, bro. Before you get out of here and walk out of here with a fucking saunter with a pep in your set because it's a New York rite of passage, apparently, which is awesome to hear, Tom. To be completely fair, yeah, we want to offer up some constructive criticism to you because we see you fucking acting, producing, comedying at that fucking trash diner. Which we didn't even talk about <laughs> chicken oh, salami. Damn, that's right. The food there sucks. Chicken salami. I thought you had like a really one great gotcha question. Um, uh, I I exited out because we were going long. Mm. Um, right. I really got to pee. But uh, <laughs> we want to offer up some constructive criticism so you can do even. Better, I right? We it. talked about getting a little bit wild on the podcast. We talked about this referral system. <laughs> Pay it forward, bro. Help us get Bobby De Niro on the podcast. Yeah. Bobby okay. D. That's cool. the criticism. Constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The constructive criticism That's how- is for you is that you should yeah. get okay. Bobby D on the show. <laughs> I he will. Has, for us. His, I will actually ask him if I meet him. We want to see yeah. his dementia in real time. Oh come on! You're, you're playing a guy that has to shit his pants. We want to see him. You want to see his dimensions? In- <laughs> you want to bring a tape measure? Yeah. <laughs> No, we want to see him shit his pants IRL. In Put in the dementia diaper. and dementia. Does he dude. have dementia? No, he's being he a is, No, he's a fuck. You love to is, shit on legends. And he is not, I, and as he a is legend not myself, all there. it's so offensive. The he's legend all, of the no, legend shitter. What it is that Lawrence's personality is the fucking Scorsese, the neuro guy, right? So it's like, I want to see him meet his hero and Shut the fuck up when you're talking to me. Confront you're his Itali- mortality. Are you an Italian Jew? <laughs> no. I wish, bro. Lawrence has to confront his mortality. Say you are. I'm a I'm a Jewish Jew. One of those. Just take into consideration. Yeah. Um, okay, I will. I, I swear, if I see uh, this is my word, and my word is my bond. Okay, when I see him, said that. When I Scarface, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck when you, I dude. see that little Shut MF, up, he's probably little. When I see that little MF, I don't know his dimensions. I'm oh, you like, just did the ALD movie. That's why you're pissed. No, Scarface is Pacino, not De Niro. There's Obviously, an ALD, you fucking did you say ALD movie. De Niro just did an ALD thing, so uh, Lawrence short, is a short, short fell up in arms. Really? No, yeah. I think I th- just think that Bobby De Niro is beyond reproach. Even though beyond approach, pants. beyond reproach. What do you think of his uh, seminal film, Dirty Grandpa? <laughs> I've actually never seen Dirty Grandpa. I just had a really bad moment. What happened? You shit your pants. That's my uh, ex's Instagram bio. Beyond reproach. Mm. Well, she wasn't really beyond reproach when she got fucking divorced. <laughs> so that's a honestly, that's not a bad IG bio. Damn. Oh, can you guys give me feedback on mine? Mine says, um, okay, mine says former class clown, comma current comedian. Comma, cat daddy. Too much? Mm. What? <sighs> Where to begin? It's three jokes. I was thinking about just making it live, laugh, love. Yeah. Yeah, that's... You guys are in? That's yeah. really good. I'm changing it to that. Uh, right. Bless this mess. That's also good? Beyond reproach. Beyond meat. I'm not doing beyond. <laughs> she over the dick. Call her ball, beyond meat. <laughs> what about your Alabama one? That's good. He might want that. Oh, uh, must be from Alabama because I'm so inbred. I saw that. I saw that. I thought that was very good. <laughs> that was a banger. Did you make it up? Yeah. He's it. got a whole notes app of these things. The guy's a genius. Them, yeah. My boy's got to get on a show. Stand up. Uh, do you, oh, do you think either of us could do a cold five? I think tight, tight, tight five. Tight five. I think you guys could do a thing where you do it together. <laughs> you could do a cold five where you fucking yeah. bomb like cold Mr. Freeze. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> Wait, what if you guys did it together? Fuck no. Oh, like an like an act like, like a live no like, a live, like Millennium crawl no crawl? like a live podcast improv thing where people are like you're like say a word and they're like brick. And then what? Yo, then your you guys- fit's a fucking brick, bro. <laughs> Yo, and then you the Nero brick dirty grandpa. <laughs> Lawrence is crying now. Like that? Yeah, exactly. I like right. it. You guys Damn. are on the show. I'm going to see. I'm about to see uh, Dirty Grandpa in 35 millimeter at Metrograph, bro. <laughs> God damn. Sounds like a classic. The way the filmmakers intended. Yeah, um, exactly. Kareem. Final like piece. Christopher Nolan. <laughs> you better see Dirty Grandpa in, in IMAX. IMAX. <laughs> 35 milliliter. And Donda, Donda sound? <laughs> milliliter? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kareem, <laughs> final piece of constructive criticism. And it seems like you understand where this segment is kind of headed now. Um, oh, he's great in The Intern. Oh, great movie. Is that um, Nancy Myers? No, that's with that. Actually, yeah, that's uh, a f- actually fantastic. I like that movie. It is actually really good. It's very, no, it's it, not. What are you talking no, about? No, I've seen it and it's, it's, I would say it's uh, three and a half stars out of five. I like on it. I'm letterboxed. Fuck I'm in here. Yeah. Um, There's a winning because I'm choking. On it, that, it's funny actually, choking it, on that when uh, at the Chris, at the Christmas party they give out coke in the intern and he they breaks do? Anne Hathaway's arm it's crazy oh god I'm so gullible um Kareem 
for promotion for this pod drop, uh, you should take over our TikTok. <coughs> that was me hitting the jewel. I know. Vintage. Uh, I'll, I would do that. Yeah. What do you want me to do? I'll just do whatever I right, want. Who gives a fuck? Do we just give you the keys and just fucking? We'll give you the keys to the 2010 Range Rover Sport Vermont Brown, and you just go <laughs> and just crash it. That'll yeah, go viral. It. <laughs> that'll go viral. No, no, there's, we the password is Raph Simmons Fall Winter 2005. <laughs> we we <laughs> we're stuck at 25 point whatever K, and and we'll obviously have produced clips from the show, but you should take over, introduce yourself next Tuesday. Maybe do whatever you want. You know, yo, you want to hop in our Discord too? Ooh, yeah, you want to come in the Discord, yeah, chat, the Discord. chat with the boys? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kareem. <laughs> uh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Doing, no boy. spoilers. Don't do it now for free, dude. Uh, <laughs> All right, so you're taking over TikTok. I'll take over the, the, t- t- the TT. What do you want can to I plug? Where can kids follow you jokes? on TikTok? Can I make misogynistic jokes? Of course. Okay. Those will go viral. They always do. Amazing. Where, what do you want to plug? Where can, can the kids follow you? You got this film coming out. Yeah, go crazy, dude. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, at Kareem on Instagram, at Kareem Rama on TikTok, Rahma. at Kareemi hmm. on Twitter. And yeah. What's I your Twitter game like? It's not good. You know, Bryn told me you can only be good at one. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Advice. What do you think, think you're I, good at? I think I'm. I was good at TikTok. I've moved to Instagram because I'm more into narratives. Okay. And I'm like my Twitter, my tweets don't hit, and it's because I've had so many metamorphosi. Should mm. I read some of uh, your terrible tweets real quick? Or Please, they're not that bad. great podcasting. Let's see, uh, at the buzzer, which is retweets. What is it, Karimi? What? Yeah, say? with a Y, okay. and two E's. Oh, okay. That's Does, he doesn't know how to American. spell. Ah, uh, here we go. I you can only spell white names. American. I'm already yeah. following you. <laughs> Oh my God! Did you hear that? Oh, I already follow you. Wow, MF didn't. Even I don't know, dude. Out. I don't know if you, I think James is right. I don't think I'm gonna be. Reading. I think we're gonna end this episode at an hour fifty six. Kareem, thank you for coming on Thanks, to the bud. only podcast that matters. Chef, Bob's hit that meticulous Bob's vibe. Bob's and- That's a meticulous vibe. That's a meticulous vibe. She a meticulous girl, and I'm a meticulous guy. That's a meticulous vibe. That's a meticulous vibe. She a meticulous girl. Bye, meticulous watch, meticulous chain, meticulous girl, meticulous her ass, ridiculous her ass, meticulous shoes, meticulous the fit, meticulous cause that's a meticulous vibe, that's a meticulous vibe, she a meticulous girl. Vibe, meticulous shirt, meticulous pants, meticulous girl, meticulous ass, ridiculous. My homies, meticulous, they fits, meticulous, they vibe, meticulous cuz. That's a meticulous vibe. That's a meticulous.